What is up crew, it's your boy Kasem, and on today's stream, we're going to be talking about the back anatomy as I go over the fundamentals of the basic shapes, we'll also go over the anatomy, and then we'll talk a bit about the differences between maybe male, female, body fat distribution, and all of that good stuff. Now, if it's your first time here, welcome into the Kasem crew. My name is Kasem, I am a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch, and I teach everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective, to all things related to character design, and I also work full-time in the anime animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. So hopefully you guys enjoy uh, today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Twitch if it's your first time here. And with that being said, let's jump right in. All right. So today's stream, again, we're going to be going over the back and I think there's going to be a lot of different things that we're going to cover today, but I do want to start off by just going over the basic shapes. I feel like the basic shapes are going to be the core concepts that we're going to be looking at here and working from. Now, this is going to be helpful for those of you who are beginners. And then as we kind of progress, I'll talk about some of the more advanced topics when it comes to drawing the back and of the human body in general. So if even if you are a beginner, don't worry, this video is still for you. And even if you are a professional, this video is still for you. All right. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first exercise today. And also welcome in everybody who's coming in right now. Um, uh, Niame, welcome back in. Um, I thought I gave you a nickname, but like for some reason it changed it back. I thought I gave you a nickname. Anyways, well, welcome back in. Glad to have you on here. All right. Um, let us go in and talk about the basic shapes first. Niame. Okay, good. I'm going to go. I'm going to give you a nickname again. Maybe they got rid of that feature. <gasps> they might have. They might have got rid of that feature. Hold on. I forgot how to do it. There was a way to. Oh, here it is. I'll show you guys really quick. So if you go here for a pro pro streamer tip, if if there's someone in your chat that has a really long name and you're not sure like, you know, how to pronounce it or whatever, you can kind of type it out here. So you can go, <laughs> I'm going to do it like this. Ni, a, me. <laughs> there you go. See pro pro streamer tip. And then now whenever they show up on the stream, it should show up and um, it should, it should change their name to how, how I would want to read it. And it's only for your stream too. So it's kind of nice. Um, but anyways, let's go in here and talk a little bit about drawing the basics and the structure. Um, basics and the structure here for the torso. All right. So one of the first things I want to talk about is just simplifying the torso and its proportions. Now, what I like to do is I like to kind of lay out here the first kind of just a box structure. And for this one, for the back anatomy, it's going to be a little bit trickier than maybe the front side. But what I like to do is I like to kind of find that acromion process. Okay. This kind of this little bumpy area right here. And we're going to just use that to kind of create a box here. And we're going to try to make it as kind of square like as we can. Now, keep in mind here that this person's back is going to be rotated, tilted backwards, right? So, Let's um, keep that in mind. So there's going to be a little bit of perspective going on. But overall, I think the basic shape should work. Now, we're going to go ahead and do, let me kind of make it a little bit bigger here. And then we'll lay out the bottom side there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip this one here, duplicate that, um, and then flip that down. Oops, sorry, flip it this way. And basically what we have here, let me just kind of adjust it a little bit is the rough structure of the pelvis right now i know these just look like squares and stuff but one of the things you have to consider is if you actually take this and let me let me move it over here all right you might be like hmm what is this so the reason why we do this is because one this is technically a box here and this box is a really good representation of the just kind of the overall volume of the torso and then also we can kind of cut this half right here and that way we can kind of draw out the portion here of the pelvis. Now, we don't really see the bottom portion of this of his pelvis today, which is completely fine. We're going to be ignoring uh, a lot of that for today. So don't worry too much about that. But you could just imagine now we have here some volume. And the reason why I show you guys this technique is because it's an easy way to understand the proportion of the torso. Basically here, what I'm trying to show you guys is that the upper half here of the torso is going to be all the way the same distance roughly from that 10th rib cage to the pelvic bone at the bottom there. So you can kind of use this as a general guideline. And then later, as you want to stylize your characters, change the proportions and all that stuff, it'll be a lot easier to do, right? So like one half, one half. 
All right, but we've we've basically established the rough structure here of our uh, of our torso. Nice and easy. Let me also put this guy away here. Um, but hey, thank you for the follow, Gabon uh, PH. Are you from the Philippines by chance, or is PH just something else? Also, uh, congratulations, Niame. Yeah, do you want to tell me for what studio, or is that like a secret? It's okay, you don't got to tell me. I'm curious though. But congratulations on even getting this far. I hope you uh, hope you uh, do well on your animation test. Crossing fingers, you got this. If you have any questions too, by the way, if you have any things that you're worried about or you just, you know, need some advice, feel free to ask in the chat as well um, if you are comfortable with that. But going back here to the torso thing, let me go ahead and kind of slap on the center line here. Nice and easy. All right. So that center line is going to be a couple things. One, it's going to show the symmetry of the body, but it's also going to show the spine. Now, we haven't really talked about the spine too in depth here on my stream, but we'll talk about it a little bit later. And also, before we even go over that, I totally forgot to uh, mention to you guys here. Um, I'll mention to you guys here that you guys can actually go ahead and grab today's resources on the Discord channel. I always forget here. Uh, but if you guys, if you're watching from Twitch, just type exclamation mark Discord and it'll actually lead you to my Discord channel where you can grab one, today's worksheet here with all the references. Um, so you can grab this one right here. Uh, two, you can grab um, Tuesday's stream where we actually went over the front side anatomy of the torso, both male and female. So this is a very, uh, I think this is a very great sheet to grab. And then also, last but not least, I'm giving you guys a cheat sheet that I made back in 2022, uh, which is going to cover some of the back anatomy as well as some of the things on the side there. So this is going to be very helpful uh, for you guys today, I think, for, especially for those of you who are new to anatomy. All right. So make sure you grab these sheets. They're only available, though, while I'm live on Twitch. So just keep that in mind. All right. If I'm not live, then they won't be there to thrive. All right. Um, and also, hey, everyone who's coming in here, welcome back in. Takino, uh, Schmader, and Aiden, and everyone else who I'm seeing in the chat today. Uh, where do you get references for these anatomy studies? Um, for these, Pinterest. I just go on Pinterest. I type in back anatomy or back muscles, and then I try to find one that seems the most clear uh, that shows the most muscle definition, and that's kind of it. Nothing too, nothing too crazy, nothing too secretive, I would say. You know, <laughs> nice and uh, nice and simple. But all right, going back here now, guys. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit now. So we're gonna move away from the basic structure. So this is kind of like level one beginner structures. I would highly recommend you guys, um, especially if you're still a beginner, practice breaking down the shapes like this. Um, and then if you want to get a little bit more flexible, you can change the shape, obviously, to be a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more rounded, stuff like that, right? If you want to kind of do more of an organic feel for your characters or whatever, you can make it rounder as well. It's not a big deal. Um, I think really, again, as long as you're understanding that there's volume there, that's what's most important, right? I think that's really the key thing here because... Um, at the end of the day, what I want to show you guys is the volume and the structure. I personally like to use boxes for these kind of demos because I think boxes are very clear um, when it comes to showing the volume of something. Whereas maybe like a blobby organic shape is a little bit harder to see. You know, you get what I'm saying? Um, they're always good. So I was wondering, oh, you know, what's interesting about that Rylander is um, one of my old mentors actually to uh, told me and really taught me that finding the right reference or finding a good reference is actually a skill that you can develop as well. Um, there's a way, there's like efficient ways to find the right references that you need for your uh, whatever drawings you're doing. And that way, not only are you helping yourself out with drawing whatever it is you want to draw, but also you're minimizing the time it takes for you to look for references, which I, let's be honest, guys, I think we've put maybe a little bit of too much time sometimes on looking for the, re for the right reference. Put an F in the chat if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe you spent a little too much time scrolling on Instagram or Pinterest or Google trying to find that right reference. Hey, maybe you spent a little more time doing that than actually drawing. We don't want to be in that situation all the time. So um, I, think, I think developing that skill of finding that right reference, um, the one that meets your bare minimum requirements and gets, you know, gets the job done, I think is always more important. Um, but yeah, welcome in, everybody. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, but yeah, welcome in everyone to the KSM crew. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. 
Um, okay, let's go ahead now. I've established kind of that rough anatomy um, for the structure uh, that we're using for this guy. Again, I'm not trying to copy this reference exactly. So if you're like, hey, KSM, this is looking a little bit off from what we're seeing in the reference. Don't worry too much. Okay, the reference is mostly there as a general guideline, um, but I'll be kind of applying the muscles and stuff on top by itself. Now, going in here, let's go ahead now and talk about actually breaking down the structure that we're seeing here. Um, and wow, hey, thank you for the follows, Mil Wally and also Chapo Medic. Appreciate the follows today, guys. I know we had a few other follows earlier as well. Uh, we have them from Rattling Bones, uh, Draken Sketches, Love Oneself, and, and all of that stuff. If you guys are following for the first time, I'd, I'd love to know how you guys came across today's stream. Um, thank you again. Appreciate all the, all the follows. Um, I'm going to go back to work, but I just wanted to share to drop share. I uh, wanted to drop by to share. Yeah, that's super awesome to hear. And I honestly wishing you the best. You know, I think it's, it's great to hear that people in my community are thriving and finding the opportunities that they want. And I know, I know over time, eventually, eventually you guys are going to come and say to me like, yo, KSM. I finally did it. I got that commission I wanted, or I got that job I wanted, and I'm gonna cry. It'll, it'll, it'll happen. I know it. I know it will. You guys put in the work, so yeah. Also, guys, by the way, if you guys can't make it to my streams, I also have a YouTube channel that has been. I can't type YouTube in the chat, but <laughs> exclamation mark YouTube. I do have a YouTube channel, and it's been popping off like crazy over there. So thank you to everybody who who goes and checks me out over on YouTube, um, and also new people who are finding me from YouTube. So if you guys are, if you guys are like, oh man, KSM, I can only watch your streams for a little bit of time. Uh, no worries, guys. Again, um, the YouTube channel, that's exactly what it's there for. So, um, yeah. And the YouTube videos are a little bit edited. You know, they're a little bit cleaned up. So that way, um, you guys can, you know, check that out and not have to worry too much. And hey, welcome in learning to cope. Great, great name. All right. So. Uh, we're going to go lay out that rib first and you know, we've talked about the rib a couple times on my streams, but basically that rib cage, you can think of the rib cage as kind of this egg shaped structure that fits into this uh, volume that we've drawn in. Now from the backside here, keep in mind that we're going to be seeing, I'll do it kind of like this, but imagine if the spine or not the spine, imagine if that rib cage was at side view, we would actually be seeing kind of this structure right here where uh this maybe right here is that front side uh, front side here okay keep in mind here that the spine is going to be curving this way this is going to be i believe the uh thoracic portion of the spine and that this portion right here is actually going to be a little bit lower so this is where that clavicle and all of that stuff are right so from the back side here this is going to kind of curve uh going this way right it's going to be a very subtle thing not a big deal but as the spine also goes down here to the lower portion it'll actually curve the opposite direction uh going this way and this is going to be the lumbar portion there of the spine that's going to be roughly about this section right here as it hits that sacrum um and again don't worry too much about all these terms i'm throwing at you guys just giving you a rough idea of the curvature here right um so just to kind of help give you guys a visual of, of the rib cage. Now let's go back on here and I want to start laying out some of the skeletal anatomy first because I want to be able to just show you guys where these muscles are actually going to be placed as opposed to just drawing all the muscles for you guys. Because again, I'm not here to teach you guys about how to draw muscle diagrams or whatever. I'm here to give you guys the ideas and tools necessary so that you can draw your characters in however different body types you want to, different angles, different perspectives, because I think that is what's more uh, valuable to character design designers right so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about probably one of the most important uh bones on the back here and that's actually going to be the scapula all right so let's go ahead and talk about the scapula here and i'll show you guys where to find the scapula too all right um new search engine with a kind of image selection the name of the search engine is same energy okay thanks for the info appreciate that um all right Let's go ahead here and let's go talk about how to find the scapula if you're looking at a reference. Now, the scapula is kind of interesting because the scapula basically is kind of this uh, triangular shape like this, right? You can think of it as a shoulder blade, by the way. That's that's the um, more general term for it. But one of the things that, that's interesting about the scapula is there's going to be a protrusion of the scapula 
um, and I'll draw it out for you guys really quick so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. All right. Oh, and hey, thanks for the follows, guys. Sheesh. So many follows today. Um, X Games and D Gem. If you guys are coming in here for the first time, I'd, I'd love to know. Uh, genuinely, I'd love to know how you guys came across my stream. Um, but anyways, going back in here. So what's really cool about the scapula is basically the scapula kind of has like this interesting protrusion that goes out right here. All right. So you can imagine kind of goes this way. And this protrusion is going to be what is known as that acromion process. Okay. That's kind of what meets in the, um, what meets on the back side there, or sorry, on the front side there of the, of the, the, the collarbone, right? So you can imagine this is the clavicle shape. It's going to be, sorry, not a clavicle, the shoulder blade shape there. And what's going to be interesting is that you can actually find the shoulder blade on the reference by looking at the indentations of where the muscles are going to be. Now, one of the first ones we're going to see right here is this dot right here, this kind of groove on the show, uh, on the shoulder there. And that's going to be where those muscles intersect at the acromion process. The second groove that we're going to be looking for is actually none other, none other than this one right here, because this is actually where we're going to be finding the, where those trap muscles also lock in um, with the, what's it called, with that scapula. And then last but not least, we're going to kind of bring this one down like so. And then this right here, because remember, we have to keep in mind that the his arms are kind of moving forward there. So those those uh, sca that scapula is really going to get kind of pushed forward as well. Right. So this is kind of a rough general placement there of the of the scapula of that uh, shoulder blade there. And you can kind of do the same thing here on the other side as well. So we'll kind of do that here. We're going to find these two dimples. Right. And these two dimples are going to be kind of that angle there of the scapula. And then we're going to have that lower portion going in this way. All right. So hopefully that made some sense in terms of uh, uh, where to find where to find the scapula. Now, other things to keep in mind is roughly the scapula um, or the shoulder blade. I'll just call a scapula for now for those of you who are confused. Um, basically, this should roughly be the size of the head, give or take from like that top to bottom portion. Now, obviously, this is going to be... Um, kind of angled here a little bit, but it's roughly going to be about the size of the head there. So if you're kind of wondering like, hey, how long or, you know, how far down should I be making the scapula? Try to make it roughly about the length of the head. And I think that's going to be a rough, good placement to start. Okay. So with that being said, let's go in here now and let us, let me put some dots on here. Let us go in now and start laying this out on our own uh, illustration over here on the side. All right. And also, guys, let me know if I'm going too fast on the stream or if maybe you feel like I'm not going fast enough. Maybe you guys want me to recap a few things. Always let me know in the chat because, again, I'm here to help you guys out. I'm not just here to draw uh, scapulas and, and, and back muscles for myself. I'm also here to, you know, give you guys as much info as I possibly can. All right. So just let me know. Let me know if you're like, hey, KSM, I totally missed. Um, <laughs> I totally missed what you were just saying just now. Um, am I talking? Am I talking too fast or am I or are you listening slow? Yeah, let me know. Let me know again if I am if I am talking a little faster today, um, I can slow it down just a little bit. All right. Um, but yeah, thank you again, everybody, for the follows today. If it's your first time here. I am very much curious how you guys came across my stream. Was it through recommended? Was it through the front page? Was it through a raid? I don't know. Was it through a uh, a friend of a friend? You saw me on a you saw me on a billboard ad. Educational art streamer on Twitch. But okay, um, so now that we have this here, all right, we have here our scapula, nice, easy peasy. Let's start actually getting into the muscles. Ooh, baby, the muscles. Now, again, if you guys haven't been to my Discord yet, make sure you grab that sheet over there because this is where you'll be able to grab this cheat sheet here, which will actually go over more in depth all the details of the anatomy that we're going to be talking about today, all right? So all of that stuff. Um, make sure you grab that on my Discord channel. It's available to grab. And hey, thank you for the followers. The ideal city. Appreciate that. Um, how is the draw in your style coming along, by the way? Don't want to derail you. Just curious. Um, okay, so I do have to tell you guys a little bit about the draw in your style. So, unfortunately, 
I wanted to I wanted to finish the draw in your style by this week, but uh, the thing is, I realized that I wanted you guys to complete the challenge uh, by the time I do my anniversary stream, and then I feel like it was I was rushing myself, and then it would also rush you guys. So instead, I'm gonna hold off on the draw in your style and finish it and show it to you guys in March. Okay, so this will be the last time I'm going to show it to you guys on stream. I'm going to work on it. And then on March 13 or whenever I do my anniversary stream, that is when I'm going to actually start the draw on your style instead of trying to start it this week. Because I feel like I, I feel like some of you guys might need more time than two weeks. Um, but this is currently what I have right now. I'm still working on it. There's still so much to uh, to render for this draw on your style. Um, I got to clean up the hands. I got to render the helmets. Um, I got to render the shoes. I got to render this this guy's head here. So there's a lot of things that I still have to render. And so I'm just genuinely, uh, I genuinely just need a lot more time uh, to finish this drawing your style. But I appreciate you guys being enthusiastic about about this one. We'll get there. I'll finish this one. Um, hopefully, hopefully by by the time March hits and then that way we'll do it. All right. But yeah, if you guys are, if you guys didn't know, I, I will be hosting a draw in your style to celebrate 30 K, uh, 30 K followers on Twitch. We have been growing a lot on Twitch. It's pretty, uh, it's been pretty insane in, in, in all honesty to, to just have all this growth and stuff and all this support on the platform. So I wanted to celebrate it by doing a, a draw in your style. Um, how many hours have you put in on that piece so far? Mm, in total, probably about eight hours, not too much, honestly. Not too many hours. I think eight hours is probably the amount that I put for a rough sketch, um, line art illustration, and then some some rendering. Um, but the thing is, it's my problem is that I don't really have time during the day to to render it as much as I want to, and so I can only do little bursts here and there, and so um, that is also slowing down my process. Um, but I'd say it's it's been about eight hours um, from from ideation to ideation to uh, where, where it's at right now. And hey, how's it going, Luan? Uh, by the way, guys, I do run ads on my stream every hour. Um, and one's going to be running right about now. So if you do get an ad, thank you again for sticking around for the ad break. Uh, they do help keep my streams monetarily viable and allow me to do what I'm doing out here on Twitch. All right, but let's go up next and draw out the anatomy. All right. Um, so for when it comes to drawing out the anatomy here of the trapezius muscles, um, the trap muscles are basically responsible for kind of raising the shoulder blades um, and kind of helping move things around in the backside there. So it's a very important muscle, probably one of the biggest muscles on the backside to keep in, to keep track of aside from maybe the lat muscles. Um, but what's really cool about this muscle group is that it actually connects and I'll, I'll, I'll draw a little bit more here. Um, but first, it connects to the back of the skull right here. All right. So keep that in mind. Back of the skull. We're going to kind of put a little bit of a line there. And then it goes all the way down. Um, and then the tendons of this muscle actually kind of wrap around the spine and connect to about maybe I would say a, it's a little bit about halfway here. But all the volume you're going to see is like right here. So you can kind of see that right here. So the the tendons connect all the way down here. But most of the muscle mass and volume are going to be around these areas right here and this here. All right. So we'll talk about that there. Now, an easy way to, to visualize this muscle group is to actually think of this muscle group as kind of like a, an, an arrow, almost like a, like a diagonal shape that goes down here on the back. So it's kind of a cool, interesting shape, but we'll break it down into three parts. All right. So you're going to have this first part here, which again, connects to the back of the neck, and that's going to flow down and gesture outwards like this. All right. Um, here, you can actually see on this guy, um, the tendon here, the tendon is portion of the, of the traps are actually going to go wrap around. They're going to wrap around the, this little nub section right here. And that's going to be the seventh vertebrae of the spine, right? So keep that in mind. Again, if I'm, if, if there's a lot of terms here that you're hearing and you're just like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Let me know. Um, I'm trying to give you guys not too much detail. That's kind of what, uh, if, if you feel like I'm skipping something is because I'm trying to just give you guys, I think the core, the core info, I don't want to give you guys too much info that maybe is not as necessary. Um, 
but I think everything is necessary. <laughs> I think eventually over time, as you practice, you'll, you'll learn a lot more of these things and I think it'll become more, more beneficial. All right. Um, oh, that's super awesome. Thanks. Uh, thanks to whoever gifted that sub. Um, back muscles. See, this is the kind of comments I like to read. Back muscles are a maze to me. This is already super helpful. That's, that's, that's what I want to, I want to help demystify the back anatomy for you guys. Okay. Cause I know, I know some of you are like, dude, I don't even know what the heck's going on with the back anatomy sometimes. Guys, put an F in the chat right now. If you've ever tried to draw back muscles and you were just like, yo, I got no clue what the heck is going on. Put an F in the chat if that's ever happened to you. I want to see. But going back here, um, the way that I like to break up the actual structure of the of the uh, back anatomy here of the of the um, uh, of the traps is I'm actually going to go find these volumes. And so there's going to be three major portions here to keep in mind. Okay. There's this upper portion here that connects to the neck. And then there's going to be this lower portion right here. And this lower portion also connects to the spine, as you guys can see. Um, but it also connects here to the upper portion of the scapula here, which I think is really cool. Right. And so it's going to connect to the upper ridge there of the scapula. And then from that upper ridge of the scapula, you can kind of imagine it's going to flow down here. It's going to create this dimple shape. So this guy right here actually has some interesting kind of volume uh, like that. That's kind of bulging the, the muscles a little bit. So I'll kind of draw that out here. All right. And, uh, and don't worry, I'll, I'll color, I'll color code all these things later. Uh, so, so don't, don't worry too much if you're like, yo, what's, what am I looking at? What's what? Okay. I'll, I'll color code it in a bit, but basically what's going to happen is it's going to create this dimple shape. Uh, let me lower the opacity here. It's going to create this dimple shape right here. Uh, and that's because this portion right here is where that, where the, uh, the trap muscles are going to be connecting the, the tendon there to the, uh, to the scapula bone. But what's interesting also, there's a, there's a lower portion right here of the, of the trap muscle as well. That also connects to, again, connects to the, um, to the back there or to the, to the scapula there. But again, because it's so much thinner than the other portions, what you're mostly going to be seeing, especially with this guy right here is this volume that's kind of happening right here. You can kind of see it on this guy, right? And so what's going to happen there is this intersection right here of between, uh, there's a pocket right here. You can kind of see it on this guy. That's the intersection between the scapula bone, the lat muscles, and then the, uh, sorry, the, the trap muscles and then the lap muscles down here, which we'll get to in just a bit. So it's kind of interesting. Um, once you, once you kind of understand how the anatomy works, you can start to decipher what the heck all these bumps and landmarks are, um, when it comes to drawing the body, right. when it comes to drawing the, um, the, the, the torso and the anatomy and all that stuff, it starts to make a little bit more sense. Um, it doesn't make it, it doesn't mean that it'll be, um, you'll be able to draw it right away. I think that that'll still take some practice, right? But I think understanding is the first step in being able to draw all of these components uh, comfortably and eventually doing it from however you want to draw it out. So let me go ahead and actually color. Uh, yeah, I'll go color this one out for you guys so you guys can kind of see what I'm referring to here. So let's do a nice vibrant blue color. So this right here, this section all the way right here, connecting to that acromion process, uh, wrapping around this way. All of that is uh, basically going to be the, um, the, the trap muscles there. But again, um, some of these portions like right here are gonna be a little bit lighter um, because these are just going to be tendinous portions that connect here to the scapula. So this portion right here, uh, there's going to be this portion right here that connects to the, to the spine, right? So all of these are going to be pockets. You can kind of see that in this reference right here, actually, these are all just pockets in the, um, in the human body because these are more tendon than they are muscle. All right. Hopefully this is good so far. 
let me know in the chat i know this is going to be complicated okay i'm sorry this is a little bit more difficult than drawing the the front side torso the front side anatomy easy you got the boobas you got the ab muscles everybody knows about boobas and abs right they're like oh my gosh i love i love those things ksm but when it comes to the back people are like yo what the hell is it what'd you just say <laughs> trapahooza what yeah i know um also hey dizakawa also, Dizakawa, is the D silent in your name? I'm going to shout you out real quick. If you guys don't know who Dizakawa is, she's an amazing, uh, amazing artist. Also a uh, part of my Twitch team. She's, she's incredible. Um, apparently, I can't. Oh, no. I think the shout out command is broken. All right. Let me, let me shout her out a, a different way. Damn. Strange. Um, but yeah, she's also part of my Twitch team. She's an incredible artist. She does kind of like a very crazy rendered style, which by the way, um, Dizakawa, I need to message you for some art advice because I'm working on a piece right now, um, or Zikawa. I'm working on a piece right now and uh, I'm doing a lot of rendering for it. I don't usually render because I'm mostly doing animation stuff. So I want to kind of ask your advice if that's okay. Um, but speaking of which, actually, I, let me give you guys a quick intro because I haven't, um, um, I haven't given an intro of myself yet. So let's do a proper intro for everybody here who's watching. If it's your first time coming in, um, let me go do that really quick. All right. So here we go in three, two, uh, one. What is up, everybody? My name is Ksem, and I am a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch, and I teach everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective, to all things related to character design, and I also currently work full-time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. So, if it's your first time here, welcome into the Ksem crew. Uh, right now, I'm also prepping to work as a character designer for shows like Castlevania, Legend of Korra, and Invincible. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's stream. Leave a follow, subscribe, YouTube, all of that stuff if you haven't been here before. And also there's my dog who you'll see in every stream. He just sleeps. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's my little intro. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, I just yeah, forgot that I had to do that. But yeah, um, yeah, again, so I, I mostly work in animation. So a lot of we don't really do a lot of rendering in the animation industry. Uh, <laughs> so... I would love to get some advice on, on, on the piece I'm working on. I'll show you later. Um, and also, thank you for the follows, everybody. But okay, um, before we get into actually talking about the shoulder blade muscles, I think one of the important things to talk about is this deltoid muscle here. Now, again, we're not doing an arm stream here on Twitch today, so I'm just going to kind of quickly draw these out. Uh, but basically, keep in mind here that the deltoid muscle... All right, this muscle is actually very important because this muscle, as you guys can see, is actually connecting to the scapula here and it connects to the underside there. So the, the lower lower portion there of the scapula. So it's kind of cool because the um, the the lat muscle basically takes up the first two thirds of that um, of that lat or of that scapula shoulder blade shape. And then the deltoids kind of fill in the other portion there. So pretty nice pretty cool uh, i'm gonna go ahead and simplify the rest of the arm here just so that way we can uh, chop it up but you can imagine there's biceps here don't worry again we'll we'll get to these another day um, you have here the ridge muscles we have here the juicy tri uh, tricep muscles which we will insert into the arm and forget about for now okay so these are going to be the arm muscles on this side uh, and then i will I will do it like this for now. Okay, cool. Um, but that's going to be the deltoid muscle. I'm going to highlight that real quick in a different color for you guys. So let's do, I don't know, this fleshy, fleshy color here. Um, do you use your iPad for all your work? Um, yes, actually I do. Though I don't use Procreate. I use um, CSP for work. Boop, boop, boop. Um, it's not important. It's not important to draw real looking muscles. Most people don't know how real muscles look like. Um, I think there is some truth to that because I think it depends on the style you're going for, the productions you're working on, right? So if you're doing more illustrative stuff that requires you to maybe have more of a stylization, like an animation or something, then sure, maybe the anatomy is not as important in terms of the, all the details. But if you're doing, let's say, more of a rendered piece, a rendered illustration for things that are more realistic, right? Um, I think learning and knowing the anatomy is actually very important because it's a lot more clear uh, to see and kind of visualize those things. But, it, but then again, even if you are doing something stylized, it doesn't actually 
Um, it doesn't actually mean that you're off the hook from not knowing anatomy because if you guys didn't know all the favorite anime and stuff that you watch, the artists who work on those things, they know their anatomy, they know their fundamentals, they know their forms and, and all that stuff. Because if you want to be able to stylize and change things, however you want to, you have to know the fundamentals. You have to be able to know the rules to break them. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard those things uh, many times. But yes, it's true that for your own drawings, you don't have to draw every single muscle group. You can always simplify it. And I'll show you guys a quick example with the piece I'm working on right now for my draw it in your style. I'm not drawing every single muscle detail here when I'm rendering out this character. I'm drawing out the ones that I think are mostly important for the volume and the shape. But I'm, you know, keeping some of the details there for like the striations of the forearms and stuff like that. But you don't have to uh, you know, draw every single muscle group because again, not everyone's going to know all the muscle groups, but people do have a general idea because we all are humans for the most part. And so we all have an idea of how the body should look like somewhat, which I think is what's really interesting. So even if you're not an artist, I think people can still tell and look when something is off, right? And I think you guys know what I'm talking about. How many of you guys in the chat have ever tried to draw a hand, right? And you look at your hand and you're like, hmm, something is wrong about this. I don't know what's wrong, but I know it looks wrong. You know what I'm saying? Put an F in the chat. If you've ever done that with your drawing, you've drawn something and you're like, Hmm, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I know it looks wrong. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is you don't have to be an artist to know when something looks wrong. Um, especially when it comes to drawing, uh, the, when it comes to drawing the, uh, anatomy there. But all right, let's go ahead now and let's talk a little bit about the shoulder, uh, the shoulder blade muscles. And these are going to be really fun, interesting muscles. Now, the first muscle I'm going to talk about, I'm just going to get it out the way here, is there's a muscle on the top of the scapula right here. And this is called the supra uh, spinatus. You don't have to worry. You don't have to know about it because it's going to be hidden anyways. So don't worry about that. I'm, I'm just telling you guys. Um, I'm just telling you guys right now, that's where it is, okay? But the one that is actually really important is going to be this muscle right here called the infraspinatus, and also it's going to be the the um, the teres minor. Now, this muscle is actually this giant bulge right here. That's going to be a, the combination there of the infraspinatus and the teres minor, all right? And this muscle is going to be connecting to the side there of the scapula, and then it's going to be connecting in, uh, right here into that humerus bone uh, on this side. So it's a huge muscle chunk right there. You'll see it pretty commonly in muscular people, and especially if you're doing a pose uh, like this guy right here. He's doing a very clear, uh, clear pose. Now, notice how I'm leaving a little bit of room there, all right? I'm leaving a little bit of room because this portion right here is going to be the other structure there of the muscle group, and this is going to be called the teres major. Now, this muscle, this is going to be this one right here. Um, this muscle, honestly, is one of my favorite muscles in the back muscle because I think it's such an interesting uh, muscle right here, and and I'll, again, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Um... Um, I've heard, I've heard talent that when I draw it is wrong, but it feels right. I'm not sure what that means, but maybe yes, <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, thank you for the follows. Von Doom, uh, K Daddy, Tycho, uh, Naman, Uyeo, Uyo, um, Javier and everybody else is coming in here. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, what do you like the most about your, about your art and art in general? Or do you, or the act of making art? Hmm. I, I would say I like hair. Um, I like, I like drawing hair. I like drawing characters in general. Um, I like, I like the process of making characters come to life and having ideas in your head that you can then, you know, I don't know, create and, and, and see them come to life and then maybe make variations of that as well. Uh, I don't know. I think that's, that's a really fun process for me. But okay, so let me go ahead and color this one out. And um, and then we'll move on to another important muscle there that I think is very, very valuable. So let's do, let's do like a, a darker color here. We'll do like this. All right, so this again is going to be the, um, the portion here of the... Da -da 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 -da, 
the shoulder muscles on the scapula um, comprised of, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll label these out actually. Maybe we'll do that after. I'll do all the, the writing of the names for you guys. Okay, but now let's kind of move our way down here and let's talk a little bit about another important muscle group, which you'll actually see right here. And this is going to be called the lat muscles. All right, pretty, I think maybe some of you guys know about this muscle already. But basically the lat muscles are really cool because they basically connect to kind of like halfway of the spine right here and they're going to basically wrap around this form you can kind of see it right here it'll wrap around that shoulder uh the shoulder muscles that we just talked about right here tuck underneath that teres major and it'll create this kind of wingspan uh shape right here all the way down to the uh, to the pelvis. Now I'm only drawing one half here for today. I'll, I'll draw the other half after, but just in terms of diagrams and stuff, I just wanted to draw the first half here first, uh, just to kind of lay it all out. Um, and Hey, thank you for all the followers today. Paul, JDS, Ladcats, Yoru, um, also Armando, Armando Mart student. Welcome in. Um, how are you doing today? And also, Hey, how's it going, Shaney? All right, so we have here the lap muscles. And I think what's interesting about the lap muscles are that one, the lap muscles go underneath the, the trap muscles here. So the, the one in blue, right? Um, and then going down here this way, you can actually see how the tendon of the, of the, um, of the lap muscles here kind of create this uh, diamond shape almost uh, for the body, uh, for the lat. So it's kind of this cool, interesting shape that goes all the way down here as you can kind of see that wrapping its form. All right. So kind of an interesting shape there. Um, save these videos and make a playlist on YouTube. I, that's actually exactly what I do. I have a, <laughs> I have a YouTube channel exactly for that. So I, I make all these tutorials and, they, and I upload them onto YouTube. So you guys can check that out there if you guys uh, are interested. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead here. And then I'll, after I color this one out, I will actually go over um, I'll actually go over some interesting stuff about the lap muscles that I think are, is valuable to know. Let me go ahead and color this one out first. Do, do, do. But yeah, um, I do have a YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check it out there, uh, I I got it. I made it mostly because I think a lot of you were requesting it. People were like, yo, I want to watch your stuff, but I missed the VODs. And I'm like, okay, I will. I'll make a YouTube channel. Let's make it happen. Um, and thank you for the follow too, Parishira. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead now and let's talk about... I'm going to do this a little bit lighter. Um, huh? Wait. Oh, shoot. I did it on the wrong layer, didn't I? Okay. There you go. I was like super confused. Um, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this section right here of the muscle group. And that's going to be the teres major and the lat muscles over here. Because I think there's going to be something interesting going on that, I, that might be valuable for you guys. Um, let's see. Hey, how's it going? Hypertobes. Welcome back in. Um, it's going well. Uh, what career did you study? Ah, that's a great question. So fun fact, I, I am a art school dropout. So I dropped out of art school, uh, way back when I was in, I was at art center and there are many reasons why I dropped out of art school, but, uh, TLDR was, I couldn't afford it. And then I decided to go and become a, a software engineer. And so I studied computer science, got a degree at a university for that. And then I worked in the engineering tech industry for about five years as a software engineer, back end, uh, back in engineering. And then uh, in 2020, I decided I wanted to go back into doing art again. And so I quit my job, pursued art, and now I work uh, full time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. So if you guys are interested in Castlevania and all that stuff, um, that's kind of the style that I work on and the productions and stuff I work on. So very kind of anime ish style, but I think the stuff I cover here is still relevant, hopefully <laughs> to you guys. Hopefully it's not like, you know, just random info. But anyways, the thing that I wanted to talk about was actually this structure right here uh, that I think is really important, which is going to be 
talking about how the teres major actually wraps around the lat muscles there. So I think the best way to explain it is just to show you guys this diagram right here. So what's really cool, I know this sounds kind of weird, but is that that this blue muscle right here, the teres major, it basically wraps around and into the arm right here and inserts into the front side of the arm. So even though this is a back muscle, right? So keep this in mind, even though we have back muscles, that doesn't mean that back muscles are exclusive to the back of the body. Some of these muscles are gonna wrap around forward and actually connect to the front side of the body as well. And so those are gonna be the two muscles here, the lat muscle, which we just drew, and that blue muscle of the teres major that connects to the shoulder, right? So the teres major, again, wraps around, connects to the front side there, it twists, it's kind of weird if you if you think about it these muscles actually twist so the lat muscle twists and moves forward there and also connects into the upper portion of the arm so it's kind of this interesting shape that's going on there but when you go back and actually draw the um this section of the muscle you'll see here that once the lat muscles get towards the arm right here this it actually gets pretty thin and so what ends up happening is instead, most of the muscle that you're seeing, this is not actually the lat muscle. This is actually that teres major muscle, which we just talked about. That's really creating all of that volume there. Even though the lat muscle, this one right here, which I'll just draw really quick in blue, that's going to wrap around here and insert onto the front side of this muscle. I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds like a lot of info and you might be like, huh, <laughs> what did I just hear? So I understand it's, it's a little complicated there. But uh, again, I think these things are valuable because the more you know about what's going on, I think the easier it becomes to be able to visualize all the weird, crazy bumps that are going on in the back muscle. Yeah, I know. This is, this is literally the face. That's the face right there. <laughs> come on dude yeah um and thank you for all the follows today guys welcome in um how is the new job going it's going well um i wrapped up my my first big scene two weeks ago they got me on another big scene i'm working on another just productions fast man it's crazy how how they have me doing so much already so so quickly um but let's go ahead now and i think last but not least I want to wrap up here, um, at least in terms of the, the anatomy breakdown and stuff, with the final set of muscles, which is going to be one. You can actually see it right here. Um, there's going to be a muscle that maybe is not as commonly known, and that's going to be no, uh, called the uh, erector spinae. Okay? Erector spinae is an interesting muscle because it basically is deep in, this, deep in the back right here. It creates this kind of wrapped out form like this. And then it also kind of tapers and creates a little bit of this curve. You can kind of see this bump right here on this guy. It creates that groove on the uh, on the back there, uh, just where that, uh, just where the lat muscles and the spine all meet up with that pelvic bone right there. So that's going to be known as the erector spinae. You're not going to see a lot of it, um, honestly. Um, it's very on. It's kind of like hard to see in a lot of um, a lot of people. But just know that the reason why it has a curve like this on the back is mostly because of that erector spinae going in here. So I'm just, I just wanted to highlight it for you guys just to let you guys know what the heck is going on. But it kind of fans out this way, like that. And then it tapers out here, kind of like a, like a, like a funnel uh, in some ways. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and, then, and then last but not least, we're going to have here the oblique muscles. Okay. Now there are some other muscle groups here that we're not going to talk about yet today. Um, particularly I'm looking at the glutes. Okay. So there's some, there's some, there's some glutey muscles right here. All right. But we're not going to focus too much on that today. So I'm going to simplify these out. Uh, but there are some muscles there. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up here, um, and just kind of insert in the oblique muscles on the side. Okay. And so there you go. That's going to be your general muscle groups. We have here the uh, the gluteus maximus on this side, gluteus medius um, on this side as well. But again, today's today's stream is not going to be uh, focusing on the booty cheeks. We'll save that for a leg day, a uh, leg day stream. All right, so I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna simplify it like that. Just know, just know he has them. He has the he has the cheeks. Okay, but we're not we're not looking at him today. All right. What? Hey, really quick. What color are your pants? 
What's the color of his pants? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, guys. That's what I thought. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's what I thought. All right. Never skip leg day. Don't worry. We will, we will have a dedicated day. We'll have a dedicated day for leg day. All right. Don't, don't be stressed. If you're like, yo, yeah, okay, Sam, what, ab what about the legs though? I struggle with the legs. Don't worry. Okay. We will do, we will do a day for, for legs and, and all that good jazz. But for now, let's just kind of lock in here and we have the oblique muscle and that's about it. And now I'm going to, I'm going to label these out really quickly for you guys, just so that you guys uh, can see them all. Um, I'll do this one in purple. But that's going to be the diagram here of the of the back muscles. Good job. You guys you guys have done it. Claps in the chat. Claps in the chat. All right. There you go. We've done it. We've completed we've completed the back muscles here. Um I'm going to go ahead and do the other side really quick. And I think, I think, um, I think we'll be good. So I'm just going to highlight this one, kind of color this one out like this. We'll do it only, only on one side. All right. Well, yeah, I, I have done it. Hopefully you guys have followed along as well. All right. But let me, let me go ahead and label this. And again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat. If you're like, um, so what's going on here? What the heck is that? And, 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 you know, just feel free to ask. I'm always trying to help clarify some things for you guys out here. There is a muscle group. Ugh, I forgot to mention it. I always forget it. Okay. Sorry. One more, one more muscle. Sorry. Sorry. There's a muscle here that is deep. That is deep in the back here. You're not going to see it often, but when you do see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, and yo, thank you for the gifted sub Kalu, Kalu Kanzi to, to b -b breaded, b -b 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 breaded. There's one more muscle that I forgot to mention, and it's this muscle right here. And this is none other than, yeah, there's, there's a lot of muscles, actually. There's technically a lot of muscles, but I'm just giving you guys the ones that are most visible uh, that I think are most important. And that muscle right there is actually called the rhomboid muscle. And that's a muscle that goes diagonally across um, the back here, uh, kind of like this. It connects to the side there of the scapula and actually connects to um, it connects all the way to roughly about that seventh vertebrae like this and connects across the um, the scapula there. OK, so that's that's the that's the final one there I'm going to call out. But you'll see it. You'll see how it's underneath the lap muscle and also underneath the um, underneath the trap muscle there. So. I always forget about it because it's honestly, you're not really going to see it all too often, right? But okay, let me go ahead and label these for you guys. So that way you guys can kind of get an idea of all the names. All right, give me one second. Let me move this up. Boop. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the chat if this was helpful to you guys. Did you guys learn something? Was it too fast or is it just like, yeah, Kason, okay, this is <laughs> this is too, too, too much for me, too much for me to handle today. Let me know. I, I'm genuinely uh, I'm genuinely curious to see if if any of this stuff was helpful to you guys for me to break down. Um, and thank you again for the for the gifted sub. It, it does mean a lot. Um. I'm just trying to start and work on drawings digitally. Um, there's been, I'm still not used to hyper Tobes. Okay. We'll call I'll call you Tobes. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. The landmarks are important too. Again, I wanted to focus on the landmarks with you guys because I feel like just knowing the muscle names and all that stuff, I feel like it's not as, I don't know, like how many of you guys in the chat have tried to learn, um, have tried to learn some anatomy. And so you pull up some, like, you know, you pull up some diagram, right? You pull up some diagram on you on Google or something, but you, you kind of still don't understand what's going on, right? I think what's more important than um, than knowing all the names and stuff is really knowing about the shapes and knowing where they insert into the body and what they do. I think I always think that is more important um, than um, than just knowing all the names. I'm going to give you guys the names so that way you guys can remember them uh, better. But overall, I, I do think that it's more important to find the landmarks, find the general shapes of these things, find the simplified forms, and then, you know, you can you can change it up how you want. So later, what I'll do is I'll actually draw 
uh, we'll go over some back we'll, we'll do some back drawings and I, I'm not gonna do all the muscle groups we'll just kind of draw it out you know um, infraspinatus spin spin this is such hard words infraspinatus and I'll I'll actually okay I'll, I'll do this in a slightly different color because I think that I think calling out this muscle is actually important so I'll do it in like a red color right here these are still shoulder muscles um just keep that in mind but uh i i do think that it's it's noticeable enough in the human body that i'm going to give it its own color all right so you've been promoted you've been promoted uh terrace major good job uh terrace minor Let's go ahead and label this one. This is Terrace Major. And also something to keep in mind, guys, is these muscles are going to be interlocking and interweaving with each other. Um, so just keep that in mind, even though, like, for example, I drew the I drew the lat muscles on top of the uh, the Terrace Major there. What the volume that you're seeing on that section is mostly going to be the Terrace Major. Right. So just keep that in mind. This is, this is why I always tell you guys diagrams kind of suck sometimes because the diagrams only tell you really about the names and the positions, but they don't tell you anything about the volume, the structure, and then how to draw them and see them from different angles, which I think is what's really more important. Um, overall, uh, let's do latissimus latis lat latis how do i spell this damn it's been a it's been a while since i wrote these down uh lat latissimus <laughs> i need to google this real quick sorry guys i need to or somebody oh thank you there you go someone in the chat yeah i was like there's like too many s's latis that seems right latissimus dorsi that seems right your your spelling in chat seems seems good All right, yahoo! We've done it. We've, we've laid them all out. Sheesh. All right, so um, now that we've done that, um, the rest of the stream really is going to be about applying all of these uh, muscle groups and stuff that we've drawn. And I have here two different references that we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, we'll be drawing this female one first, just to kind of you know pivot away from drawing muscular, muscular buff men, right? Um, and then we'll draw the male one here and we're going to just kind of do some exercises drawing uh drawing the the back muscles and stuff all right uh why couldn't these people choose shorter names i have no clue that's a that's a good question you should file a report report these uh incredibly long names and hey welcome in uh chewies thank you for thank you again everybody for all the follows today an incredible amount of follows from everybody here um, Armando Belling, Belen Gemini's, uh, Rogue War, uh, War Chief, Durara, uh, Ball, Kalu, Kanzi, thank you for the gifted again, uh, Ryu Jim, Xtina, Perry Swag Plays, MRX. Um, yeah. But let me go ahead and see if I miss anything in the chat before we continue. Uh, light green needs a dot. Oh, um, so yeah, so sorry. The, the light green here is just the tendon of the lat muscles right so i mean, i should have clarified that um so that's just going to be the tendons of the lat muscles there um but it's it's going to be part of that lat muscle group yeah mm. uh Kasem, is there any is there any way to sh to show on your notes the layers or overlaps the solid colors make it hard to show where they overlap hmm Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Um, I wish I knew a better way. I would say just check out the video. <laughs> I know it's a, that's a that's that's the best answer I can give right now. But I know I know what you're saying, and I know that this is again part of the main problem with just looking at diagrams is it doesn't teach you all the overlaps and stuff. So, um, yeah, I I do apologize. Um, but let me highlight a few landmarks for you guys as well. Um, we were talking about landmarks earlier, so. There's going to be another landmark right here. So these are bony landmarks that you can look for in the body. 
Um, obviously, the spine is, a, is another one here, but you have here that seventh vertebrae is a very key one. And I would say these are going to be majority of the bony landmarks. Um, Um, of the back there. All right. Uh, when you visit the doctor, do you start naming every muscle <laughs> you feel pain on when he asks what's wrong? I, I do that sometimes. This is kind of like a weird, uh, weird flex, you know? Yo, hey, how's it going? Uh, Chrissy, you know, I'm actually planning on visiting Portland. Um, a couple of my buddies said they wanted to check out Portland. So I might be in town. I don't know when maybe April or something, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, welcome back in. Sheesh, snow. Okay, let's continue guys with uh, drawing now. So we're gonna, we're just gonna do some fun exercises with this one, which by the way, reminds me, if you guys haven't yet grabbed these, um, make sure to grab these on the Discord channel. These are free to grab. Let me show you guys really quick. Um, so on my streams, every time that I'm live, I always got to make sure that I give you guys some resources and stuff because I want to show some appreciation for those of you who come out and watch my live streams. Um, and so here is the worksheet that we have today. You guys can download this, follow along with me if you want to, and also share, share your work, um, share your progress in the Discord channel as well. Um, but also, so here's, for example, uh, Vex, shout out to you, Vex, for, for doing this one looks good um, but also I have your two cheat sheets that you guys can download so this is day eight of the cheat sheet where we covered the front side torso anatomy so if you guys are looking for that one we did that one last stream uh, and then I'm also giving you guys this cheat sheet that I made in 2022 um, which covers more in depth all the little details and tips and tricks about drawing the torso all right so the stuff that I'm going over today, these are just more of the abbreviated stuff here that I'm covering. There's a lot more detail in these sheets and make sure to grab these. OK, they're free to grab, but they're only available when I'm live. So that's the only thing. So if I'm not live, you're not going to see them. All right. So you got to You got to go grab them and stuff. Um, can I ask if you attended some some art schools and your studies? Uh, I'm probably going to follow your boot camp. Yes. So that's actually a great question. So for those of you who are wondering how I'm able to teach all of these things, a large majority of it is actually self-studying. Um, but I have also gone to art school, taken classes. I've taken online classes as well. I've read a lot of books like Bridgman's book on anatomy. I've read Andrew Loomis. Um, I've read some Tom Fox. I've read, a, I've read a lot. I've done some classes and stuff. So basically, I'm taking all of the stuff there that I've learned and paid for and then giving it out here for free so that you guys don't have to pay for these things. And that is why I'm actually on the number one most wanted list by every single art school because the multi-billion dollar art school industry, they're rubbing their hands right now. They're like, yo, what the heck is going on here? Why is our, we're, we're charging these tuitions and, and there's less people signing up. What's going on? It's because your boy KSM is out here infiltrating all these schools and giving you guys the tips for free. They call me the Robin Hood of the art, of the art educational space. All right. I'm Robin Hood. This is my sidekick right here. There it is. We're out here. All right. It's my dog. He's my sidekick. What's the, what's, what's Robin Hood sidekick name? Um, John or something. I forgot his name something john yeah but um anyways guys let's get into drawing out here the uh the torso all right little john yeah that's my that's my dog little john we're out here um and honestly the big reason why i do this is mostly because growing up i didn't have any money uh to be able to get the education that i wanted and i felt like that really sucked to be honest um, I think it was such a huge hit to my, to my growth as an artist, feeling like I was being blocked from all these opportunities to, to be able to want to develop my skills further. And so now that I'm in a different place here where I work in the industry and I have learned a lot more, I want to try to make the resources that I wish I had growing up, you know, like if the younger me was, was here today and stuff. I would want to make stuff that I think, you know, he would have found helpful. So it's a big reason why I, I do what I do here. Okay. But really quick guys, I'm just, I'm just slapping on here some general, um, general shapes. And again, for those of you who are curious about the way that I structured my, um, my, my, my basic shapes and stuff, 
I always start off with primitive shapes, whether you want to go with a rounded shape or you want to go for more of a boxy shape. It's really up to you. Um, but what's most important is going over the basic proportions. And so we talk about how here the torso is roughly going to be the length of two squares um, right here from the portion there of the acromion process all the way down here and then going down this way. Now, you might be wondering, but wait a minute, Kasem, what about all of this stuff right here? Okay, what's all this? What's all this extra volume that I'm seeing here? All right, first of all, what color? What color were her uh, were her panties? Yeah, I know what you guys were looking at. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nice try. All right, but the reason what's going on here is actually this is extra volume. First of all, this is the pelvis going on here, right? So the pelvis is tilting downwards, right, like this. But also right here, you're going to be seeing the volume of the glutes, and so that glutes is going to add extra volume here on on the on the pelvic itself. But in terms of the actual proportions from the from roughly the clavicle down to the um, to the pelvic bone is roughly going to be about two kind of squares length. It's going to be kind of a nice equidistant proportion there. All right. So again, these are more generalizations. When you start stylizing your characters and all that stuff, you can definitely you know play around with it and and change the proportions. But a good kind of starting point is really going to be. Uh, is really going to be understanding those simplified shapes. Kasem Tar, the last airbender. Oh, the last art bender. Yeah. Um, and thank you for the sub, uh, Kekpachi. Appreciate the the three months out here. All righty, but let's go ahead now. Uh, let's go kind of draw out the the neck and all of that stuff. Please that out real quick. And yeah. I know this is uh <laughs> we really covering a lot today all right guys but I will try to make it as hopefully as easy to understand as possible and again if there's anything if there's anything that you guys are just confused about let me know let me know in the chat because I can always try to uh, go over it again and, and maybe even try to re-explain something and if you guys are following along and you're wondering like what the heck is going on and you're like, hey, I don't really understand how to find the scapula, for example, on this person, uh, let me know as well. And I can try to find that for you guys and show you where to find it. But right now, I'm just going to simplify the forms. Um, so I'm imagining here, for example, um, some some shoulder sockets, right? Easy shoulder sockets there. There's going to be the, the combination there of the humerus bone, deltoid all of that stuff going in and I'm just going to simplify it because again today's today's stream is not focused on uh, it's not focused on the arms we'll save that for another day so I'm just going to simplify this one out and then let's talk a little bit about um, let's talk a little bit about finding some of these landmarks that we mentioned earlier because it might be it might be tricky right so one of the first ones to look for is actually going to be, um, is actually going to be the, the scapula right here, which you can actually kind of see this bump right here is going to be that top portion of the scapula. Then we're going to find this nub right here. That's going to be the acromion process. And there you go. We have here the angle of the scapula. You see that? Nice. Like, that's, that's kind of all it is. So find, find the acromion process. Find that nub right here, and then there you go. The rest of it is a triangle shape. The length of this is going to be roughly the length of the cranium, or actually, sorry, the length from here to here is going to be roughly the length of the head, um, the skull itself, and that's kind of it. Um, so you do that every time, and then you'll be kind of good to go there. Um, is there a way to know how long to make the two squares for the torso? Um, well, you just make two squares, right? So... You make two squares, and, and technically there it's it's kind of it's kind of deceiving, but basically you make a square, right? So a square is gonna be the same on all sides. You take that same square, right? You put it down this way. Maybe we add a little bit of a tilt here for the for the pelvis, right? And that's it. So two squares. Um obviously you're gonna you're gonna make some volume here to make it more protrude back there, right? Uh and then from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of cut out that halfway mark right there. That's gonna be the pelvic region right there. And this simple structure, basically, you can then make this more complex. Turn this into a rib cage, like that.
right? Um, but it's 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 a uh, two squares. So like the the square will have the same uh, the same what is it called length on all sides? Because that's like the, the 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 definition of a square, I guess. So we're gonna go here. Um, we're gonna go find the the scapula, right? And then let's kind of continue on this one. But yeah, hopefully that made sense. Uh, digital vibe. Um, the the length of the square basically is just however long you want it to be. Um, oh yeah, everybody stay hydrated out here. Um, welcome back in, Fem Healer. Appreciate the the healing reminder. So I'm going to go in first and just kind of lay out. I'm just laying out the arms because I think even though even though we're not focusing on arms today, remember that the deltoid muscle still um, still does connect, right? So it still does reach over here and connect to the um, connect to the the back there of that scapula or the shoulder blade, I should say. So. OK. Um, but let's kind of go in here now and let's lay out all these muscles and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit to make it a look, make it look a little bit nicer, uh, for, for this, for this diagram that we have here. Um, what would these squares be in comparison to the head length? Ah, okay. So that's actually another good question. And uh, in the meantime, let me, let me throw in here puppy power. Someone redeemed my dog. So there you go. Um, that's a good question. And we haven't, we haven't gone over proportions yet. Like all the, all the larger proportions. Um, but we'll do, we'll cover a stream. So I promise we'll do a stream where we, uh, where we actually go over proportions. Let me show you guys really quick what that looks like. I think I have to reteach proportions actually, because I think this sheet is completely out of date. Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll go over proportions another day, but basically the way that I think about it is you want to look at the overall head height and, and kind of, ugh, this is, it's hard to explain it unless we talk about the whole body. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I will, I'll put a pin on that question, save it for another day where, where, where we will talk more about, um, proportions and stuff like that relative to everything else. Cause I think that one is going to require us to basically talk about the whole body, you know, or maybe after this uh, demo here, we'll, we'll talk a bit about it. But that's a very good question. Um, and thank you for the follows guys, Mossry and John above and Aleph. Um, I feel like we're getting really, really close to, uh, what's it called? We're getting really close to 30k followers out here on Twitch. So I appreciate every single one of you guys uh, coming out here and supporting my streams. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you guys, hope you guys are having a, a, a good time. It is a uh, pre Friday out here. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm, I'm, I know you don't see it. So like, you're not going to see these muscles on her. Um, but I wanted to show it to you guys before I clean it up, just to give you an idea of what we're looking for. Right. Um, where, where do these muscles land on the body? And then I'll clean it up with you guys and, and kind of make it look more like the, the actual figure, you know, give it some more gesture and whatnot. So hopefully that's okay. I'm not trying to confuse you guys. Like again, you, when you, when you draw these things out, you don't have to draw every single muscle, right? Cause you're not going to see every single muscle all the time. And even sometimes with very muscular people, you're not going to see all the muscles all the time either. So, um, I always tell people just, you know, draw, draw what is most important for helping convey the illustration, but don't focus too much on drawing everything. Cause otherwise your drawings is going to look like a, um, what is it called? It's just going to look like 
a a diagram, like a muscle diagram, which I don't think is, I don't know, as appealing, maybe, maybe to some people, but I think sometimes less is more. Uh, wow, so many follows today. Be awesome, DM Ka, uh, me artsy. Welcome in, guys. Are there any streamers in the chat, by the way? Out of curiosity, any other art streamers out here? Um, I'd love to. I'd love to know if if we got any other uh, streamers out here in, in the midst. Because the thing is, like, people follow me all the time, and I just don't know if they're a streamer or not. And so, you know, it's just the. Uh, the way that it is. Uh, and hey, how's it going, Spike Mare? Hey, welcome in, ET. You stream art and games? Okay. I'm an art streamer, but my computer is whack. <laughs> I have to get a new one. I feel that. Um, yeah, because I know that uh, when people follow and stuff, I, you know, it's not like I, I can't tell just from the name unless I know you, unless I watch your stream. Uh, whether or not you stream art. So if there are any, you know, any streamers out here, welcome in. Shout out to my fellow streamers. We're on that grind time. Okay. Um, again, we're not focusing on the, um, the pelvis region today. So I'm going to just simplify this one out. I'll draw out her, uh, I'll draw all that out here right now. So we're just going to put that away. Okay. Don't worry too much about that today. Uh, primarily focused on the torso here. Um, yeah, but not the K, not the K sim though. Wait, what? You're the real one out here. <laughs> how's it going? Uh, how's it going, Tepas? Uh, let's see here. Oh, nice. Congrats to your partner. First art stream, huh? Jojo Henry. Hey, welcome in as well. Uh, you inspired me to render a commission, and the buyer loved it so much they tipped. Hey, that's what I like to hear. Wait, that's crazy. Shout out to people out here doing commission work. It's the, uh, the grind. The grind is real. Got the obliques going down here. Um, okay. And then now let's go in and kind of clean this one up a little bit. And I'll talk a bit about some of the anatomy and stuff again that we that we went over earlier, right? So again, you're not going to see a lot of these things, you know, all this anatomy and stuff that I'm showing you guys. Um, but it's good, again good to know, and I think the most important thing is to probably find the the scapula because if you can do that, I think that's really the that's really the biggest thing, right? Finding the scapula, if you can do that one, easy peasy. The rest of the journey, I would say, is actually. Uh, the rest of the journey here of drawing, it becomes a lot easier once you find that scapula bone because that scapula really is a major connection for a lot of the, um, a lot of the muscles on the back there. So if you can lock that one in, I feel like you have, you've basically done 50% of the work of drawing the, uh, drawing the back anatomy and, and all of that stuff. Okay, but let's go in here and let me kind of just clean it up a little bit. I just wanted to do kind of a rough kind of breakdown there. But let's kind of, you know, make it look a little, make it look a little nicer and stuff. Um, a few kind of tips and tricks here. I'm going to add a little bit of overlap here. So even though the, um, you can kind of see it right here, actually, even though the, the neck kind of goes like that and there's a much more softer transition, sometimes it's nice to add some graphic overlap with the forms to kind of showcase 
showcase the depth and volume of things and it could be very very subtle too so it doesn't have to be a crazy overlap there um let's see here Uh, but yeah, you'll see that once you start drawing out the figure, I'm actually going to, again, get rid of a lot of the anatomy um, that we drew out, but I I'll highlight a few things just to kind of showcase like, hey, we, you know, we know, we know where some of the, where, where some of the anatomy is. All right. Um, for example, uh, one of the areas that I want to highlight um, is going to be this acromion process, a nice landmark to kind of just denote there. Uh, this little nub right there, that's kind of the acromion process. We'll, we'll wrap that one out here for the shoulder. And then, you know, we'll kind of go down, add a little bit of a soft, subtle transition there. I'm going to kind of just shrink the arm just a tad bit from what we had. And then we'll go in here, add a little pocket there for the, the insertion. Okay. And then now as we get into all this complexity here of the back, not all of these things are going to be, you know, uh, denoted. So let's kind of choose here. Let's pick and choose our, our battles right now. So I'm going to denote, I'm just going to denote the spine just to kind of show you guys where the spine is. And you know what? I realized we haven't even talked about the spine anatomy yet. Hmm. We should probably talk about that in a bit. We'll do that. We'll do that after this. Um, but here you can kind of see some interesting things going on. So first I'm going to denote the, I'm going to denote kind of the shoulder blade there, right? So that, that scapula or yeah, the scapula there, maybe I'll add a little bit of a gestural line there. And then I'm going to go down, kind of find that flow here. And you can kind of see there's a bit of skin kind of tugging away um, at that line there. So we can maybe add a little bit of that uh, just to kind of showcase it a little bit. But Again, it's really up to you what you want to showcase. Sometimes less is more, so you don't have to, you know, add in every single detail that you see here, but add, add what you feel is, is right and what will help you convey the scene. Uh, we're going to go in here and add the little belt around her, or what do you call this, bra strap thing? I don't know. I don't know much about clothing to, to be able to tell you exactly what she's wearing, but... Well, whatever that is, she's got it on. Okay. Now going back here, let's go add maybe a quick little, uh, quick little bump right here. Just kind of a, a nice little line. And then here I'm going to do a little subtle thing where I'm going to kind of change the silhouette here, add a little bit of volume that goes down this way. And that's going to be again, that terrace major, uh, muscle that we talked about. Right. And so we're going to kind of denote a little bit of it, right? Not too much, but by subtly changing some of the silhouette there, it can really help I would think, uh, sell some of the illustration better. Halter back. Thank you. There you go. Hal halter, halter back is apparently what it's called. Truth. I got no clue. I'm going to take, I'm going to take chat's word for it. So like right here, maybe we feel like, hmm, there's a little bit of lack in there. So you can always kind of go back in and again, add, add some more form, right? If you want to, like you, you can always add as much or as little as you want. It's really, I think up to your own kind of discretion and your style. And, um, oh, really quick guys, uh, really quick. I do run ads on my stream every hour. One's going to be running right about now. So if you do get an ad, thank you again for, uh, sticking around for the ad break. They do help keep my streams monetarily viable and allow me to do what I'm doing out here on Twitch. But if you don't want to see any ads, consider subscribing or using a prime sub, but either way, thank you for all your support today. And I hope you guys, uh, have a good stream. 
Thank you for the D shrimp. And also thank you for all the follows today. Taylor Neal, 6228, um, M Tay, uh, Jojo Henry, and everyone else here. Uh, and thank you again, Fem Healer. I need to go drink some water. Or I guess tea. I'm drinking tea today. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of a subtle line here just for the uh, the concavity, right? But there you go. I would say that's going to be the overall... Um, overall uh drawing that we have here for this for this uh female reference picture that we used yep not bad and then we'll do uh we'll do one more and i think uh i think this will be pretty solid for for all the stuff that we've broken down here today yeah, the tea was hot today. <laughs> no, I, after that traumatic experience last stream, never again. Dude, I drank cold tea last stream, and I don't know you guys could tell, but I was crying inside, man. Like, it's okay when the tea is supposed to be cold, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you, when you want the tea to be cold, okay. But when the tea is not supposed to be cold and you're out there drinking it, damn, it, it was rough. I was actually crying inside. Ta-da! There you go. Nice, easy peasy. Let me go clean up a few things. And then I think um, I'm going to color it out really quick for you guys. Nothing too crazy. Just a quick grayscale to showcase the form and the anatomy. Not the anatomy, the, the volume and stuff. But there you go. See? Nice and, uh, nice and quick and easy, right? Um, again... When you draw these things out, you don't have to draw out all the muscle diagrams that we did, right? It's completely not necessary. But I think practicing these things and helping yourself visualize them, especially in forms where you don't see it, I feel like is going to be really helpful. What is this? Booty raid? Yo. yo. <laughs> thank you for the thank you for the raid tofu senshi. What is this booty raid? Look, this is not a, this is not even a booty stream. We just, she just has a, okay. Welcome in everybody. Let me give a quick shout out to Tofu Senshi. If you guys don't know who Tofu Senshi is, she's an amazing streamer out here on Twitch. A fellow member of my Twitch team, The Artroverts. She's incredible, does a lot of cool rendering, and she's a veteran on the platform, actually. She's kind of old out here on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, if it's your first time coming in here, welcome into the case some crew. Let me go do a quick intro for everybody who is out here. Uh, three, two, one. Welcome in, everybody. My name is KSM. I am a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch, and I teach everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective, to all things related to character design. And I also currently work full-time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. Right now, I'm also prepping to work as a character designer for shows like Castlevania, Legend of Korra, and Invincible. So if you guys are interested in some free art education, or you guys are just looking to hang out with my dog who is asleep over there, make sure to leave a follow. Um, I also got a YouTube channel which has been growing a lot so shout out to that guys let's go so check me out on youtube as well and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's stream all right but there you go that's a little intro about me um we today in particular we are covering the torso of the uh we're covering the anatomy of the backside um, of the torso there. So earlier I went over the diagram of all the muscle groups, which we drew out. Um, I told you guys all about the uh, bony landmarks that you can look for in the body. And then right now we're doing some exercises where I'm showing you guys using these references for maybe these harder to find muscle groups and stuff, where to actually find the anatomy and how to draw these things out. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. If it's your first time here and you don't know, you guys can actually go to my Discord channel by typing exclamation mark Discord in the chat. And if you guys
guys go over here to my Discord channel, under the Art Resources category, you will find today's worksheet, which you guys can follow along with. You can you can find um, last stream's uh, worksheet where I covered the um, front side torso anatomy. And then of course, you can also find the sheet that I made back in 2022, where I cover more in depth all the anatomy of the backside of the torso there. So make sure to grab these guys. These are free to grab while I'm live on Twitch, but they will be gone at the end of my stream. So just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Go, go grab them now. All right. But anyways, let's continue. All right. <laughs> what a, what a booty. Sheesh. Thank you for all the follows today. Um, appreciate you guys. Can you show me all the muscles of the booty area? We will actually get to that. Yes, one day we will get to it. Don't worry, guys. I know some of y'all are eager out here. We will we will get to the leg anatomy and all the booty cheeks involved on that day. All right, just 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 not today because there's there's already so much we're covering and I don't want to overwhelm you guys. All right, I used to do this thing last year where I would go over every single um, muscle anatomy and I realized that that was just probably too much for people. I used to do this whole thing where I'd be like, all right, guys, we're going to do everything today. I'm going to give you guys all the anatomy today. And then it's just too much. People, people, people's brains get fried. So today's look, we're getting a little dose. Okay. A little dose of the anatomy today. I'm just giving you guys like seven, seven of the anatomy forms. All right. Practice those. And then, and then maybe, maybe tomorrow, if you guys are you guys are chill, not like Tofu Senshi here. You guys know Tofu Senshi timed me out on her stream? Can you believe that, guys? Chat. Can you believe that I got time? I me, a, a VIP holder on Tofu stream. I got timed out. I cannot believe this. I mean, honestly, I'm sure you guys would believe it. Uh, to be honest, you guys are probably like, yeah, that seems like something that would happen to KSM. I got timed out, man. I can't believe it. Everybody in the chat, type in hashtag, hashtag free KSM. Hashtag free KSM. I mean, I'm already free, but like, come on. Hashtag free KSM in the chat. Let's go. <laughs> KSM to jail. <laughs> hashtag okay, bye. What is this? Yo, I cannot believe this. What happened to my community out here? So divisive. Hashtag free KSM, hashtag jail KSM. Damn. You can't, I can't even time myself out at this point. All right. Let's, <laughs> anyways, I'm just adding in here all the rough silhouette and then we'll go over, we'll do another uh, quick, quick little, quick little uh, demo there. All right, we'll do another another practice. But yeah, I think overall this was a good exercise. I, I enjoyed doing these practices with you guys. Thanks, guys. Should we um should we should we uh time out Toku Senshi? No, no, no. She has to earn it. On my streams, you have to earn a timeout. You can't just you can't just be handing out timeouts on my streams. You guys know we have a wheel. We have a wheel raffle for this. Um, also welcome in everybody who's been coming in earlier. Uh, we got here, uh, Klopp, welcome back in Klopp. How's it going? Uh, and all the people again from the raid, appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you for the follows. X wall, uh, duo rag, Weronia, sniff, Griff, DML, Avico. So many follows today. It's actually insane. Um, we might even hit her. We might even hit her follow goal today. How do you get a timeout on my stream? Um, if we hit this raffle goal right here, if we hit a thousand bits on today's stream, we, we have a raffle spin and one of the prizes of the raffle spin is you get timed out. And that is, I think that is one of the only ways to get timed out on my stream. Aside from being a bot, obviously, if you're a bot, you can, uh, you, you're going to get timed out real quick. You're going to get these hands. You pay, <laughs> you pay for punishment. <laughs> um, Yes. That's true. In my streams, getting timed out is a reward, okay? People want to get timed out on my streams. I think. I, 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 don't, I might just be making up stuff. Uh, 
All right. But um, otherwise, this is uh, what we've got today. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let me just fill in a few little shadows for you guys, because, you know, we got we to gotta add a few little shadows out here. Where Look at this, we're rendering. Well, KSM knows how to render. Uh, yeah, kind of. Kind of. I'm just doing the basics right now. Oh, my gosh. Rendering is so easy. Um, Not really. Rendering is hard. But I'm just going to slap on a few little renders right here, um, just to kind of give it some form. And I think with that, I think we're good with this one, right? L let me know, guys. Let me know if there's uh, something you want me to cover a little bit more out here. Um, yeah, go eat some, go eat some food, tofu. Eat some good food. Case I'm in the last back render. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, thank you for the, thank you for the hundred bits. Sheesh. Appreciate that. Alrighty. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, did you say that you worked on Castlevania or Ca Castlemania or Castlevania? I don't know what Castlemania is, but I work for the studio. Um, I work for the studio that was that worked on Castlevania and that made Castlevania. Um, but I joined after I joined after the, that production was already over. So I'm working on something else right now, working on a different show, which I'm not going to tell you guys. Um, yo, thanks for the, uh, thanks for another hundred bits. Oh boy. We might, <laughs> some of y'all are like time out, time out. Let's do it. All right. Well, guys, let me go ahead and put away this reference right here. Let's move this. Uh, I'm going to group it all together here. Wow, this one actually looks good. I'm actually happy about this one. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually happy about how... Uh, uh, I'm happy about how this one turned out. Okay, let's go do um, let's go do one more. All right. Uh, what are your favorite materials content to learn anatomy construction? What are my favorite materials or content to learn anatomy? Um, YouTube, YouTube is great, man. I I love, um, I love YouTube. I think it's a great platform for learning new things. I think YouTube and Twitch. Um, that's what I would say. Which, by the way, guys. I got a YouTube channel where I got tutorials out there. I put out a video yesterday, by the way, which, which by the way, it's crazy because honestly, you guys are popping off on YouTube. You guys are really checking out my videos and it means a lot to me. It makes me, it makes me happy. I want you to know my editors are happy. Shout out to my editors. They've been putting in work on my video, on my YouTube videos and stuff. Um, and they're, they're happy to see the, the growth and stuff that we're seeing on that platform. So just know guys, just know that it means a lot. Okay. But, um, let's go ahead and do one more out here today. If you guys haven't grabbed the reference sheets yet, make sure to do that. And also let me know guys, if you want me to go over, do you guys want me to go over the anatomy a little bit more, or do you guys just want me to draw it out? Let me know in the chat what you guys are um, what you guys are in the mood for. All right. And really quick, I need to do, I want to, I want to do a quick, uh, let me, let me throw on here the landmarks. Mm, we'll lower the opacity just a little more. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write down some of the landmarks here for you guys so that way you guys can get an idea. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, let me write these down. And then I'll, I'll, I'll clean it up in a bit. 
Um, let's see here. I forgot what this is called. Um, there's a, there's the area right here from, uh, from here to here of the scapula. Is that called the scapula ridge or there's a name for it? The blade of the scapula, maybe? Uh, damn, I forgot what it's called. There's a, there's like a common term for the, the angle there of that protrudes for the acromion process. Spine of the scapula. Is that it? I think that sounds right. I'm I'm going to, I'm going to call it that. I'm going to call, uh, is it the spine? Hmm. Okay. We'll call it that. Well, I'm just going to call this the, I'm going to call this the, um, I'm going to call it scapula, scapula plus trap. Okay. There you go. Also, Keo. Hey, welcome back in, Keo. How have you been? Hopefully you're doing well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I got a question. How did you get used to drawing on an iPad? I'm still struggling. Um, I would say find programs that are easy to use, like Procreate, for example, and then just focus on using just the brush tool. You know, don't don't worry too much about all the digital features and stuff that you see. There's so many different labels and stuff, but um, just just focus on the core tools and get comfortable with that and treat it as if you were working on a traditional piece. Right. Um, I would love to see how you would hand, in fact, handle using a less muscular model for a reference. You mean maybe a model that has a little bit more body fat? Um, we could do that. I, unfortunately, we I didn't pick a reference for that, but maybe we could. If you guys can find a reference and post it on the Discord channel, um, I'm we might. Oh, and you came back from Taiwan. Super cool. I'm actually thinking about. Um, I'm actually thinking about visiting Taiwan. Got to get my, uh, my song, song yo bing. That's the, uh, I'm totally mispronouncing the, the tones there, but the green scallion pancakes. Mm, got to get that for breakfast. Got to, got to eat all the turnip cakes, all the good food, street food out there is 10 out of 10. Um, and hey, thank you for the follow Mars TT. Uh, I would also use a lot of pressure when drawing and I'm scared I would break my iPad. Oh, okay. So yeah, if you guys have any problems with um, pressing pressing too hard on your tablet or something, or you maybe you're just a heavy drawer, uh, let me know in the chat. Put an F in the chat, guys. If you struggle with... Um, maybe, maybe, you, maybe you put a little too much pressure on your drawings, whether it's traditional or or uh, digital put an f in the chat i want to see because i think this was a problem that i actually used to struggle with all the time uh back when i was still starting out as an artist and i learned that there were things that you can do to avoid um avoid that struggle av avoid that that uh, problem there so i'm just going to use this one as a general reference but i'll probably just draw it out myself um but again, if you take a look here, I'm just slapping on, uh, I'm just slapping on right now, just some basic shapes, right? I'm not worried too much about all the volume and all the muscles just yet. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple with you guys, right? Because when you have this simplicity in form, it'll be a lot easier to understand what's going on. And then you can add all the details after. But here's the tip that I would give you guys. If you do struggle with maybe pressing a little bit more harshly on your, um, on your illustration, what I would actually recommend is um, if you if you're digital, for example, what I would recommend is you go and change your brush settings. And here is my pressure curve set, uh, setting. Nice and easy. Nothing too complicated. You get a nice curve there. Also, thank you for the raid. Uh, no fee. No fee blue. Appreciate that. Um, is, it just, is this your first time raiding me? I feel like this, this might be. Um, but doing something like this actually allows you to have darker lines um, but without having to press too hard. 
And so naturally over time, as I had these settings for my brushes, it actually allowed me to um, kind of train my hand almost to not have to press as much um, as opposed to maybe in the past. So a quick little kind of like tip that you can do, you know, nothing too crazy there. Um, but let me actually, hold on. I want to, I want to move, give me a sec. I want to move this. True. That is true. That is true, Vex. You could do that as well too. If you want to go for the pay to win strategy, <laughs> that is, that is also a good and valid, uh, valid thing you can do hundred percent. All right. I'm just going to, eh? what, where the, where the reference go? What the heck? Um, I'm just moving it up here. So that way you guys can see the bottom one. Cause I have a tendency to draw on the upper right corner of my screen. And so you might be missing out on all the stuff in the bottom there. Um, and thank you. Thank you, Nuffy. Appreciate that. And let me actually, let me actually follow you back. I always try to follow my fellow streamers out here. Um, hopefully I can, at some point, maybe I might be able to return the favor and, and raid you back as well. I always try to raid, I always try to raid, um, you know, other streamers and stuff when I can, because it's tough out here being a streamer, guys. It's a struggle out here. Um, can you recap quickly how to determine those proportions of the shapes? Oh yeah. Did I, did I, did I go too fast? Did you guys, I, I just assumed, sorry guys. Yeah. I assumed that like, this was like the, this stuff right here was not super interesting. So I kind of just quickly drew this, but do you guys want me to go over really quick how I drew even these basic shapes here and just kind of slapped on all these, uh, these basic forms. Let me know in the chat if that's something you want me to go over. I totally just, I don't know. I didn't even think about talking about it. Cause I was like, ah, it's probably fine. They don't, they don't need to know about that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll talk about it then. All right. All right. I see. I see. Okay. My bad guys. Good. This is why, this is why I love Twitch because on Twitch, you can actually tell me things real time and it's more interactive than on like, you know, YouTube where people who are watching this from YouTube, I'm sorry. If you got questions, just put it in the chat and I will try to answer it next time. Um, yeah. So how do I go about drawing the, the, the torso and all this stuff and the proportions for the shapes, right? So if you take a look here again, I, I basically took the idea of this, of this, uh, of this square box shape that we had over here. All right. And I kind of just rounded it out. That's kind of all I really did here. So I took the box shape here. I'm, I'm going to, I'll draw the box out really quick. Uh, I'll go like this. So I took this box shape and I'm going to do it a little bit, uh, like this. And again, this box shape really is just about, um, I'm using a square here for the flat side there at the back. And so a square, a little geometry here, but a, a square is the same length on all sides. Okay. This is literally, this is no longer an art stream. This is a math stream, a geometry stream. Um, but I took that shape there and I basically said, okay, I'm going to take that now and watch this. I'm going to take it. Uh, flip it, flip it vertically. And there you go. That's all I did. So it, I, I, I did this in my head, obviously. So you guys didn't see me do this, but, um, I took that shape there and I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And what do we have there? The torso easy peasy. And if you actually take this, watch this, let me, let me shrink it down to match the proportion there. But basically, and again, the, 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 um, the pose is going to be a little bit of a different perspective, but if you take it there, that's basically here what we have, right? So we have here the lining there of the acromion process. We have here the mid portion of the back there. And then right here, we have there where the end of the pelvis is. But of course, don't forget, there are going to be some glutes and all of that stuff. So, you know, don't forget the glutes and stuff. But it's a rough generalization of the simple shape there. And what I'm taking now from this simple shape is I'm saying, okay, well, let's go ahead and kind of carve out this shape a little bit more. Right. So let's go ahead now and say, you know what? I kind of just want here this portion of the pelvis. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one halfway, right? Add a little bit of a tilt there. Let's get rid of all of this stuff right here. We don't need any of that. Uh, and then there you go. Now we have all of this, but then let's go ahead and say, you know what? Um, the volume of the pelvis is going to be a little bit rounder, right? So a little bit rounder as we kind of go here, let's kind of fill that one out a bit more. Let's chop out some of these things here. And then from there, this is kind of how I'm getting the shapes that I have here now um, on that inner side. And I'm kind of naturally adding in some volume there. 
I'm going to kind of give the shape there of the, the rib cage, which we've talked about a few times. Um, and then we're going to kind of just curve that out as well. So we're kind of carving it out of these simplified shapes that we've established uh, right here, right? But we're keeping it nice and simple. We're keeping it nice and loose. And again, this is just one way to go about it. There are so many different ways to, to draw the torso. But I think understanding the visual uh, structure can actually be really helpful in, in later than adding in some complexity, right? And so a great example of that is kind of this example here where I show you guys, you know, you take this box shape, you kind of take it as a nice simple form. If you can draw this box structure, you can rotate it in different angles, different perspective, and then you can add in all the complexity, all the muscles and forms, and maybe you do it for a more rounder shape instead. You can do it that way as well. Um, but it's really a matter of understanding the volume and then from that volume, adding in the details after. So... I kind of skipped all of those steps when I drew this guy out. So just, I, I do apologize for that. Um, but that is kind of what I do um, when I'm drawing these out here. I'm just kind of taking the the rough idea there and just kind of go slapping them in. Now, keep in mind here that I am changing the perspective. So I'm not using this reference one-to-one. -one. Um, I'm just using it as a general guideline there. And right now, I'm going to go in. I'm going to add all the other forms that I got here, right? So we got the arm. Let's put the arm in there real quick. Slap that on. Am I on a different layer? What is this layer? What is that line? Huh? Am I crazy? Where's that line? Where's that? Oh, it's this one. Okay, sorry. I'm just going insane. Magical lines show up everywhere. Um, yo, is this a... Yikes. I think this is a bot, guys. Look at this. Good thing we don't have links on my streams. Looking for some nice, comfy clothes or slippers? Oh, baby, you know what time it is. It's banning time. See ya, Tage2424. You're going to be banned for 24 hours, seven days a week for uh, 365 days a year. How about that? You should change your name to 247365. Banned. See ya. How do I ban again? Um, boom. Wait. Wait, wait, my bad, my bad, my bad. Wait, 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 uh, boom. Get out of here. All right, there you go, guys. Thank you for the follow. Um, Nilsan Jr., um, as Roddy, uh, Key Win, and everybody else coming here today. Um, but yeah, appreciate that, Wisp. Thank you for the kind words. Get out of here. Gift them. <laughs> We're not gifting them anything. All right. Don't be misclicked. Look, I accidentally did that a few times and I apologize, okay? If you've ever been a victim of me accidentally banning you or timing you out from my stream, just know that it was only it was only half half accidental, okay? Sometimes I do a little Russian roulette. Okay, I close my eyes and uh you see you see where the mouse clicks land, you know? We play the game out here. Okay, but anyways, going back here, this is a nice simplified shapes again that we have. Um, nothing too complicated, right? But I'm going to go ahead now and let's kind of draw out all the anatomy and structure here um, that we're seeing, right? So let's, let's go ahead and, and do some of that. Where is Tony Tony Chopper? He's been, he's been replaced by my real dog over there. All righty, let's get into the back. Okay. So, um, really quick, we're going to talk about here. This is a great anatomy. Look at this. The, the, um, the seventh vertebrae there. I love it. You love to see it. But before then, let's actually talk about, I keep forgetting to talk about the spine, huh? Okay, I'll talk about it right now. So the spine, guys, has vertebrae okay and look this is going to get a little complicated but basically the the spine has let me think 19 plus 5 27 so there are 27 vertebrae is that right seven hold on seven plus 12 is is 19 plus 5 23 sorry 23 there are 23 vertebrae in the spine okay with the the uh, first seven there actually being um, known as the 
cervical okay so this is the cervical vertebrae and that's going to be in charge of basically connecting the head to the uh or having the head there connection and having that connect all the way to that neck portion all right so that's going to be all the way to the seventh vertebrae here that you're seeing it's this nice little bumpy protrusion there on the back uh, and then as we kind of make our way down here the spine is going to curve along here and this is going to be the curve of that rib cage all right now this right here is going to be from that seventh vertebrae all the way down right here to the uh 19th vertebrae so vertebrae 1 to 12 here and that's going to be called the thoracic portion of the spine now again don't worry too much about all the names if you're like Kasem, what the heck i don't know what you're talking about that's okay because again this is more for those of you who are maybe a little bit more advanced and are looking for some of the terminology uh, and names here. If you're not looking for those things, that's okay. Ignore what I'm saying right now. Um, but just know that there's three sections. There's the curved section that goes this way for this for the head. Then there's going to be the curved section this way for the ribs. And then there's going to be a, another curved section this way. And that's called the lumbar section. And that is for the um, from the torso to the pelvis there. Okay. So that's going to be the kind of the curvature there. Uh, again, it's the first seven vertebrae, then seven, uh, then one to 12 here, and then one to five here. Okay. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that made some sense. Uh, again, I apologize if it was, uh, if I went too fast there. Uh, but here, let's go find that scapula first. Again, scapula is arguably the most important thing when it comes to drawing the back. If you can find the scapula there, you pretty much solved 50% of drawing the back. That's like the first thing to, to look for is that scapula. Where is that scapula bone? Can we find it? If not, then that that's maybe what you should be studying. All right. But next, let's go in here and let's kind of work on the deltoids because the deltoids, we're going to ignore that later. Now, the deltoid muscle is nice and easy. We're going to just, again, pick out the latter third there of the section of the scapula we just drew. And we're just going to rough it out, find that section, and then we're going to taper out here towards the front side of the arm. So just keep that in mind. Um, super curious. Um, is all the anatomy you know from classes or self-study? I think it's a bit of both. So fun fact about myself, I know there's a lot of you here, um, but I actually used to go to art school uh, way, way, way back in the days. I went to a school called Art Center here in here in good old California, and I was there for about a semester, but then I realized that I couldn't afford it, and so I dropped out of art school. And then, because of that traumatic experience of dropping out of art school and stuff, I decided to quit art altogether because I couldn't afford it, and I felt so upset about that that I felt like art wasn't for me. In my mind, I thought, if I couldn't even afford to learn, what's the point of even going and being an artist, right? And so I didn't do art at all uh, for about six years. Instead, I did software engineering. So I studied computer science at university, uh, became a software engineer, worked in the tech industry for basically about five years. I was uh, up to the point where I was like a senior engineer, basically um, working as a back end engineer. And then I was kind of depressed. I'm not going to lie. I was like, damn, what the heck is going on with my life? This is, this, is this me every day where I'm going to just be in an office doing these things, the same exact things every day. And it made me realize that maybe what I wanted to do was to go back in and do some art again. And so I decided to start drawing again. And eventually, um, part of that process led to me self-studying a lot, uh, whether that was through YouTube, reading a bunch of books like Bridgman, um, Framed Inc., all these other books and stuff. And then eventually, um, I started, I was able to start picking up commission work doing all of that stuff. And long story short, eventually I started being able then to start picking up jobs um, for bigger, you know, freelance work. And now I work full time in the animation industry. So, um, but yeah, I think in terms of the studying and stuff, a lot of it really was self-taught, but self-taught is such a weird such a weird phrase because it, it doesn't mean that I just magically learn these things myself. You know, like I looked in a mirror every day and I dissected my body and all of that stuff. You know, like I, I had a guide, whether it was books or whatever. Um, but then eventually later, as I became more professional, I did um, take classes as well. So all the stuff that I cover out here with you guys 
a lot of these things are stuff that I've either learned from myself, you know, self-studying um, or from taking classes and just reteaching it out here on Twitch. Kasem had to strip to really know the true anatomy. Not, not like not to say that I don't do that. Like, yeah, I do. I do look at my my body and I, I look in the mirror sometimes and I'm like, hmm, OK, this is the clavicle. Let me let me follow that down real quick. Let me you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, I do that. Or I'm, I'm guilty of um, checking myself out for anatomical reasons. All right. If you if you're an artist and you haven't done that yet, come on, man. That's like free. That's free anatomy right there. Um, I also quit recently studying art because I couldn't afford it. I'm going to be a flat tennis cent. I totally understand that. Uh, pru, pru yummy. And just know, um, just know out here, anybody here who feels like they're in a position where they have to give up art and stuff, or they have to do something else. Um, it's not the end for you. Um, I, I think personally, actually let's, let me go see in the chat right now. Put an F in the chat right now, guys. If, if you, you know, you want to do art and stuff, but maybe life circumstances, Make it so that maybe you have to study something else or you have to work something else. You're doing a different job. You're, you're learning a different major, a different degree, but you want to do art, right? It's just, you know, life is kind of putting you in a tough spot. Put an F in the chat if that's, if that's you right now. Um, I, I'm just kind of curious to see um, how many people in the community are maybe dealing with kind of that same circumstance. And, you know, I, I don't think it's an uncommon thing, to be honest. I actually think it's pretty common especially in society where people think that art is not a high value job or that, you know, if you become an artist, you're going to be uh, what's the word, a starving artist, right? Especially in this day and age where people are like, bro, you do art. Why, what's the point of even doing art? There's AI. I can do what you do. If I just go type it in on a program and you're just like, Oh my God, my head hurts. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, dude. The whole AI thing is so crazy nowadays where people really are just like, don't even be an artist, man. What's the point? I can do your job, but better. And it's like, mm, yeah, can you, can you really? <laughs> I don't know about that chief. Um, but yeah, uh, right now I'm just drawing out the muscles, by the way. I know we weren't going to talk about it, but I wanted to draw them out because I think this one's a little bit harder to see. And so I think it's a great example to just break down some of the uh, the anatomy and stuff that we're seeing right now. Also, I know people from YouTube can't see this, but again, if you're if you're struggling right now and you're watching on YouTube, just know that a lot of people, a lot of people are dealing with this problem. A lot of Fs in the chat. Damn, pay respect. Um, but literally burn myself out from frustration. I, I totally get that. And, th and this is why, Will, I always tell people, if you're going to be studying anatomy, um, give yourself a timeline, right? Like, don't study it constantly. Just give it, like, maybe two weeks or, like, a month, right? And then after that, take a break. Don't don't look at it again for a long time. Come back to it later, you know, um, after, you've, after you've learned a few other things. But don't worry too much about trying to see if you learn everything because chances are you're going to have to revisit a lot of the fundamentals over again. I've... I've studied anatomy probably five times now to the point where like, yeah, I, I know it better, you know, but it, it wasn't like that at first. When I was first learning anatomy, um, a lot of my drawings did feel really stiff. They felt kind of lacking in volume, even though I knew the names and stuff. So I think it's, it's really all about just practice, you know, take your time, have patience with it. And, um, and uh, yeah, eventually it'll it'll come to you a little bit more. Like each time you study it, it'll you know, you'll you'll learn it more and more. But it's not something where it's like you have to learn it once, and then once you've learned it, you're done. Never again will you need to learn anatomy. I think that's very unrealistic, to be honest. Um, it took you years to pay off your art degree. Yeah, I <laughs> I can understand. It took me a while to pay off my first semester. Uh, thank you, Dorian. Um, the Martian, appreciate the follows today. So many follows today, man. Um, insane. Yo, how's it going, Quiddity? Yeah, it's it's Twitch K, not not YouTube K. Thank you for all the follows today, Kia, um, Kyra, Ki or Kia, Kyria, Chu, uh, Derek, Hopter, Kanpu. Uh, Dorian, True Willow, and everybody else here today. Welcome in, guys. You guys are appreciate you uh, appreciate you coming in today. Look, I know we're not doing glutes today, but I'm gonna simplify it for you guys. Okay, apparently, apparently the algorithm. All right, who would have thought the algorithm likes glutes? 
<laughs> I'm going to just draw it out. I'm not going to talk about it. Or I'm not going to break down the, 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 the booty cheeks, but I'm just going to draw it out for you guys. And, and then just know that someday, someday we'll, we'll, ex I'll explain everything. I'll explain what the heck is going on here. Um, with the, with the booty cheeks. Um, the money struggle is super difficult, so I totally get this. Glad you're keeping up with art in your own time. Yeah, I understand. Honestly, I, again, I, I feel like I, I relate so much to, to when people talk about how they want to get better with art and stuff, but they can't pay for the classes and, you know, all of those online resources. Like you see something and you're like, wow, this is such a cool course. And you see, it's like, oh, $500. And you're like, oh, damn. You know, <laughs> sounds nice. If only I had money. And that is why I honestly, I try to teach as best as I can on Twitch. And I try to make it so that the stuff I'm teaching out here, um, can, can stand against all the other online paid stuff, even, even art school stuff. And sometimes hopefully better. I don't know if I can, if I can teach things better in a way that's more accessible and do it free for you guys, dude, that's like a huge win for me. Um, and so I, I, I try my best out here to teach things as, as, uh, as best as I can, but you know, some of these topics are really hard. So <laughs> sometimes I have to, I don't know, reteach it a couple times or maybe take a step back and teach it slower or it's that kind of thing. So these are hard topics. These are not easy topics for sure. But all right, we've um, basically done out here the rough one. And so I'm going to go ahead and lay out kind of a nice kind of the nice uh, gesture here. And then I think we should be good to go with this one. All right. So let me go ahead and clean this one up for you guys. So you can kind of see, so I, I did more of like the muscle breakdown there, but I wanted to kind of just do a cleaned up version uh, to show you that, Hey, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to draw everything. You don't got to draw all the details and stuff. Um, and thanks for the follows Alex and Ono Frisco. What's the Jason cake? I don't know about the cake. What is that? The gluteus maximus. Yeah, there's a couple of muscles there. So it's the gluteus maximus, um, the gluteus medius as well. Uh, then there's the TFL. And then other than that, it's mostly just body fat, really. The, the glutes are really just comprised of so many different... Um, so many different body fat shapes. And so that's kind of really where all the form and structure is. So here I'm just going to go in and I'm adding in again, just adding in all the forms and stuff, um, but I'm keeping it nice and simple. So, you know, I'm just going to show you guys the muscle groups that I think are most important to highlight and which ones maybe you can put away in the back, you know, not worry too much about all the details for. Uh, damn, so many follows today. Okay. I, I'm just curious. How, okay. What's her, what's her follower count today? Can somebody just tell me? I don't usually ask, but I feel like the number of follows today, I feel like we, we gotta be close to 30 K. There's no way we're not close to 30 K, right? We got to be like, maybe like, maybe like 29.8 or something or 29.7, 29.9. Yo, is today the day guys, do you think we'll hit 30 K today? I don't know. Maybe, maybe next stream. I don't want to put too much pressure on people. That's, I feel like we're getting close though. 20, 29.9. Damn. Thank you guys. I'm so great. I'm worth 19 followers. You know what? I think you are. 100%. 19's a good number too. It's like a it's like a prime number. Uh thanks for the follows guys. Curtis and Viomi, Elmar as well. Damn, what the heck? Oh, look at this. This is so interesting. Um, and so what's going, what's going on here, okay, is so you have here the, the scapula, right? And you have here the, the, um, the trap muscle there. But it's interesting because you can kind of see an indentation right here. Um, and so that kind of pocket there is going to be comprised of 
Um, honestly, a couple things that's going on there. So this guy is kind of interesting because he has kind of the, um, he has his infraspinatus and stuff here, right? And then you have kind of that portion right here. But he kind of has like an indent there because I think he's kind of pressing his back a little bit. And so you're seeing some of that muscle around the area really scrunch up more and create more of that definition. So that's a very interesting kind of uh, shape that you're seeing there. But I'm going to ignore it. And I'm just going to say, you know what? Let's just get that scapula right here. And let's kind of bring that down. And let's focus on that instead. And let's get that taper. Let's get the, let's get the, the spine here first. Also, let me give him pants. Sorry, this is this is too much. This is too much glutes going on right now. Um, but I'm gonna go in there and add a little bit of that. Uh, oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna add in there a little bit of the. Uh, the taper there for the spine. And again, you can keep this as simple as you want. I'm just going to add in a few areas where I feel like we're seeing a lot of major forms. So kind of like in the backside there, uh, maybe a little bit of a fold here for the spine and maybe a little bit of a pinch there for the, um, for the trap muscles, right? So I'm going to add a little bit of a bump here, just like that. Maybe add a little bit of a subtle curve or gesture for the backside there of the lats. Uh, and then overall, I think this is kind of, kind of mostly it for the, for the anatomy. Again, you don't have to denote too much. Um, I always say, you know, focus on what's most important and and then let everything else kind of speak for itself. Okay. Um, is that everything that I wanted to, to, to denote? Maybe a little bit of a bump right here. Let me lower that. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, let's see here. Oh, a few messages in the chat. Um, let's see. Did you make them yourself? If so, could you share what you did to learn what was best for your style, what you wanted? My concern is not knowing what I want to tweak the settings. Um, I did make them myself, but honestly, I'm still a noob at uh, at CSP. I, I, If you were to ask me about Procreate, I think I'd be better equipped to tell you things. But yeah, when it comes to like CSP, I'm still a noob. So I just kind of played around with, with, with different settings and hopefully, you know, kind of saw what worked well. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And I think with that, guys, I think we're pretty much good with this one uh, for for today. At least this uh, this re this reference right here. Let me go ahead and just kind of wrap out the legs, and then we'll color it out, and um, we can clap our hands. Yay! Um, let's see here. Oh, you're doing with thirst. Thank you. Thank you, Soul Princess. Um, a social blade. Damn. Also, yeah, welcome in Ashleen and everybody else is coming in here today. Um, do I have a YouTube channel? Yes. Um, I do got a YouTube channel right here. And as for the resources for the subs, I will be uploading that one um, pretty soon. I have it locked in this uh, this week that I'll, I've scheduled time in. So definitely by this weekend, I will have it available, guys. And no worries. It's um, th these reminders. Let me know that you guys are are looking for them. And so if it's not for you guys, I wouldn't, you know. I wouldn't know. So 
Um, but yeah, um, again, this is again what I like to do to kind of just show you guys that uh, you don't have to denote every single line for the anatomy. Sometimes less is more. Um, and so find the ones that make the most sense to you. It doesn't have to be any of the stuff here that uh, that I'm showing you guys. You can choose your own, right? You can choose your own, uh, find the find the muscles that you really like and make sure to, to keep denoting those every single time. But let's go ahead now and I'm going to fill this one out really quick. Um, but yeah, I do got a YouTube channel and I'm just making sure I'm answering all the questions here. Uh, what do you think is your biggest takeaway from engineering? What, what uh, that you find yourself applying in animation industry as well? Oh, um, great question. I think the biggest takeaway that I've learned from engineering is being analytical and approaching things from first principles. Um, I think one of the beneficial things about about you know being an engineer and studying computer science and stuff is you learn about how things are kind of built up as a process oftentimes when you study art and like when i was first learning art and i would look at the details of something well what i do i would draw the details right i would try to copy all the details and and try to see how it would look like let me show you guys an example of this how many of you guys in the chat whenever you've drawn a character right let's say you've drawn a character um, let me do the real quick on the side here. Let's say you drew a character and you're like, oh yeah, let me go ahead and kind of give this guy a face. And then you, you, you did this when you tried to draw the hair. You were like, oh, let me give him some spiky hair like this, right? Let me just kind of add all the crazy details in and you just jump right away into the details, right? That's kind of how I used to draw when I was younger, when I was first learning art, I used to think, you know, jumping into the details right away. Let me go draw the arm really quick, right? Muscles and stuff. Let me go draw every single bump in here because that's what I thought was most important. But the problem with doing that is you, you, you tend to not realize how a lot of things have structure and form that you kind of have to work your way up to building these, uh, these things out. And so being an engineer actually really taught me a lot about how to approach things from a, um, structural way, how to pr approach and learn what is going on first and then add in complexity, add in details. And so I would actually say that was one of the best things that I got from, from software engineering was really learning how to approach things from a analytical mindset. And it's actually one of the ways that I teach out here on, um, on Twitch, right? So when I teach here on Twitch, I also teach things as I would if I were to teach computer science, which I used to do actually back in university. Um, I was like doing some TA stuff, right? Where I would basically teach teach the basic principles first of, of a concept. And then we slowly work on adding in more and more detail over time, more and more complexity. And yeah, I, I don't know. That's, that's what I would say. Hopefully that answers your question. I think it's a good question. <laughs> good, good question to, uh, to ask for sure. I'm not going to add all these. That's, that's too much. That's too much detail. I'm just going to add some, like, um, some ambient occlusion instead. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Uh, I like that. And also, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate that, Quiddity. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let me go ahead and just move all these things together. And then, um, with that being said, let me do a quick wrap up for YouTube. So my YouTube viewers and stuff. If you guys are watching from YouTube, by the way, welcome in. Uh, the, my name is Ksem. I am a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch. And I cover everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective to all things related to character design. And I also currently work full time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. Um, currently right now, I'm prepping to work as a character designer for shows like Castlevania, Legend of Korra, and Invincible. So if you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and all that stuff, make sure 
to subscribe, like the video on YouTube. And if you haven't yet followed on Twitch, make sure to, to do that as well. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is the end. That's the end for YouTube. Now, now it's just you and me guys. We're chilling out here on Twitch. This is, this is, um, if you're watching from YouTube, you're not going to get this part. But now what I want to do with you guys, is I want to kind of just take a step back and let's just draw some, some back anatomy from imagination. Maybe. What do you guys think? Should we do some of that today? Just showing you guys how I draw, um, how I draw these things from imagination. Yeah, let me know in the chat if that's if that's something you guys are vibing with today. This is not going to be on YouTube, so if you're <laughs> sorry for my YouTube viewers, but you know I gotta give I gotta give something a little special, something uh, something different here for my uh, for my Twitch streamers, my Twitch viewers out here. Aha, aha, there it is. I was looking for the body. I was like, where is the where's that torso at? Uh, maybe a view from the top. Oof, oof, that's a tough one. Maybe we can do that. Maybe a view from the top, huh? Like a like looking down at the torso. We can maybe do that. I'm kind of down. Uh, what about a massive figure like the Hulk? Oof. You want muscle muscles? You guys are like KSM. We want to see muscles today. Yeesh. All right. Um, we could probably do that i'm just wondering if i can do it am i capable of doing this from imagination i i think so i think i'm warmed up today so like i feel good enough to be able to do that let's go do that one first let's go do a kind of like a bulkier character today more muscular kind of thing and then we'll uh <laughs> we'll see we'll see about doing some other angles and stuff yeah um, thank you for the follows, by the way, Dylan, Lex, and everybody else here coming in today. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do some of that, man. You want to see a large, <laughs> you want to see the large glutes? Come on, guys. What did I say about the glutes today? I said, we're gonna, um, I said, we're gonna do that on another day. I can give them, I can give them some glutes for sure. All right. Oh yeah. Also, if you guys do have to head out and stuff, no worries. You guys can again, check out my videos on YouTube. Um, I'll be uploading all of these over to YouTube for you guys. Uh, most of the videos will be there though. Again, there are going to be some stuff obviously on my streams that I'm not going to be showing to YouTube because I gotta, I gotta reward. I gotta reward you guys for coming out live and hanging out here. So much appreciated. All right. Um, I guess let's just, let's just do it. Let's just, let's just draw. Um, we'll do, we'll do a bulky character first. And then from there we'll, we'll jump into doing, um, we'll just kind of draw a bunch of different torsos. Yeah. I'm just trying to also make room here for you guys. Um, Maybe I'll shrink this. Okay. I'm going to keep the female one because I think it has a lot more interesting curves. Um, just for like th thumb, thumb, thumbnail purposes, you know, but, um, let's go ahead and draw, um, some, some anatomy, um, from, we're going to be just doing the inventing these things out. So whenever it comes to, whenever it comes to me kind of just imagining things out, I'm always trying to focus on gesture first right? So we're going to be focusing on the gesture and forms and adding in all of those things here. And then we're going to go in and kind of start breaking out some of that structure. So here again, I'm going to be utilizing that technique that we talked about earlier, where I mentioned to you guys, you know, breaking down those simple shapes and then from those simple shapes, adding in a little bit of volume. So again, these are going to be back poses. And so I'm going to be maybe doing a pose here where the character I don't know, maybe they're like, maybe they're like kind of hunched over a little bit. They're a, they're a big character. So let me kind of give them some legs here on the, on the side. But again, I'm just kind of throwing on some, some general shapes and then we'll work on adding in all the details. <laughs> I'm being sus again. No, I'm not. All right. Yeah, my dog's over there. Um, let's see here. I love it. I'm from Germany and the stream is always in the afternoon. Yeah. I think surprisingly my streams are at a, are at a really good time for my, uh, for my European viewers. So shout out to those of you who are watching from Europe and stuff. I've never visited Europe. 
I've never I've never thought about visiting Europe, but after being a streamer and realizing that a large majority of you guys are actually from um from you know Europe and stuff, I'm kind of like, you know what? Maybe maybe I'll visit one day. Maybe I'll go to like a TwitchCon uh TwitchCon France, TwitchCon Paris. Which by the way, let's actually do a quick. We haven't done this in a while. Let's go do a quick poll here. I want to see where everybody's coming from and I want to see who's going to win today. All right. Where are you from? I'm going to, I'm going to try to group this one up into categories here. So we're going to have here, uh, we're going to have North Americas. All right. This is going to include uh, Canada and all that stuff. All right. So if you're from the North Americas, are you from Central or South America? All right. South America is there. Um, and then we'll do, uh, we'll do Europe. We'll just bunch up Europe all together. So if you're from Eastern Europe, Western Europe, whatever, uh, we'll do, we'll do Africa on there. We'll throw in Africa and then we'll throw in, uh, the Asian region. So SEA, all of that stuff plus Australia. All right. And if I missed, if I missed a region, I apologize. I only have five options. There you go. Put it in. Let's see who wins. Um, no, no, I put Australians. I grouped up Australians with, uh, with, with Asia. Okay. <laughs> also guys, I do run ads on my stream every hour. One's going to be running right about now. All right. So here I'm just adding in some rough, again, some rough kind of shapes. And, um, I'll go ahead and clean this one up really quick because I know it looks super messy, but that's again, part of the process. If you're trying to do more kind of loose designs and stuff. So again, I'm trying to do these from, from invention. So they are going to be a little bit rougher. Um, but we'll see, we'll see if they turn out good. All right, so let's go ahead and maybe slap on. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Thanks, guys. All right, but guys, vote in the chat right now. No way. We cannot let this happen. Really? My North American viewers, where's Canada? Where's where, where's my U.S. viewers? We're really going to let Europe win like this by a landslide? No, we cannot. No way. What's happening, guys? What's happening? Really? We're going to let Europe win this easy. Huh? We're going to give them a W today this quick. I can't. What happened to my what happened to my US viewers? It's time. It's time to rise up. <laughs> rise up above the challenge, guys. <laughs> this chat is not European property. Damn. I think all the yeah, I think all my US viewers are working right now. So they're like, "Okay, some. I want to vote, but I'm at a meeting right now." Wow. Wow. Europe really won by 43%. That's, I'm assuming that's m probably half of you guys. Almost half of you guys right now are, um, that's crazy, are from Europe. Sheesh. All right, but let's go ahead and kind of draw in some more bulkiness for. So I think when we're when we're talking about like a Hulk type of character and stuff, we're really going to see some larger traps, right? So make sure you're kind of capturing those large traps in there. Um, let's go ahead and maybe add in some volume here. So maybe the the his his body's a little hunched over right there, right? So we're kind of leaning forward a bit there, and then uh, maybe we'll add in here some large volume for his. Uh, and for Sprenatus, but again, keep in mind that, you know, we're keeping it nice and loose and this is going to be more of like a rough gesture. So don't expect like Marvel, you know, Jim, Jim Lee level type of stuff here. We're just kind of slapping on, um, the anatomy. And then here, let's not forget the lats as well. So the lats are going to be very important here and kind of shaping up that the backside, right? So you can kind of do a little bit of gesture there, kind of tuck that back in here. And then we have there the, you know, the glutes and all that stuff here. Maybe I'll actually kind of tilt the pelvis a little bit. So he's kind of like rotating his body this way. You can kind of imagine maybe his arms are like right here. Yeah. And then we'll put like an arm like this. This is a hard pose in general. 
<laughs> We're doing a very difficult pose overall, so. You guys are making me choose the, you guys are making me do the hard stuff today. You're like, KSM, nobody is safe. This is, this is what happens when chats gets tired of me telling everyone to type F in the chat. You're like, KSM, you've bullied us. You bullied us enough today. Now it's your turn. Also, and I know it looks weird because I'm not, I didn't draw the head, but I could draw the head too. So maybe that'll actually help. Let me see here. Yeah, I think that actually helps out a lot. And let me go ahead and liquefy a few things and then we'll um we'll kind of slap on this one and then we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. I think I think if we were to do a more buffer character, I would probably just take this drawing that we did here and I would just largen some of the muscle groups. I think that's probably what we would have do what we would have done next time. Um I'm currently working in North America right now, also in the animation industry, so I'd love to see you showing your stuff here. Helps drive the inspiration. Oh, super cool, nice. Let me give you a follow. Shout out to my fellow uh, animation industry peeps in the chat right now. Um, thank you for all the follows as well. Yunha, ZZZ, Ukle, and everyone else. Patri, Patri Lo, and Steph. Welcome in, guys. Um, do I recommend using the box method for for uh, comics? I mean, I think the I think the method, the box method in general, and on all of these methods, really again, are, um, are just ways that you can draw the, the human body. You don't have to, you don't have to do it this way, right? So I always tell you guys, find the way that makes the most sense to you. If that is the, um, if that is the box method and stuff, perfect. Then that's great. You know, use that and stuff, but also don't feel like you have to use any of the methods that I'm showing you guys here. Um, if you, if you prefer maybe more of a rounder shape and all that stuff, um, go ahead and do that, right? Use use that approach. So I always tell people, find find what makes well find what's most comfortable for you in being able to visualize those 3D forms. Personally, I like I like using the boxes. And the reason why is because if you're using the box, um, the boxes there, it can really help you with visualizing a lot of the um help you with visualizing a lot of the overall like volume with the sides and all of that stuff. So, um, yeah. Side planes. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would say, again, these are all the like muscle groups and stuff that you can kind of soften out. So what I would do after all of this, after I kind of, I've roughed out an idea that I'm, that I'm feeling, uh, what I would do next is I would just kind of clean it up a little bit, uh, maybe change up some of the shapes, all of that stuff. But overall, I would say this is going to be kind of that structure I'm going to put the arm facing this way. So I'm going to put the little plus sign there uh, just to kind of show you some of the volume that's going on. But again, we're going to tuck in that, uh, that arm there, the, the portion there, maybe we'll have some of the, the pecs kind of going in this way. Right. Uh, but sure. There you go. That's uh that's one, one arm kind of at this angle. And I would say if it's a more bulky character, like the Hulk, you would just kind of raise up some of these volumes here, uh, really define some of these larger structures, really give more of a larger, uh, larger volume there for all of these components, give some more striation and stuff, but you would really kind of hunch it over there and that would be kind of the, that volume. Ta -da. There you go. Oof. That's a tough one. I don't know why we did a tough one first, <laughs> but that's okay. I think it's, it's good to practice, um, doing these, these tough drawings and stuff. 
cool. Um, let's see here. Do I draw self portraits? Um, sometimes, not as often as I as I as I used to, but on occasions, yeah, I've done some um some self portraits and stuff. Though personally, I I would say that I just haven't had again, I just haven't had too much time to to do self portraits because of of work and stuff. So Okay, let's go ahead and fill this one out. And then we'll do, let's do like one one more. Um, we'll do one, I think someone requested from like a top-down view, yeah. We'll do a top-down, uh, we'll do a top, kind of not, 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 not like top-down, top-down, but we'll see it like if we were to look kind of like up or look down at a character and we would see kind of that, those muscles, yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And oh, hold on. I'm missing his other leg there. One more thing. Right here. Cool. All right. Let's go do a kind of a top down uh, pose here and we'll see how that one goes. Oh, thank you for quenching my thirst. Close to 30K. Sheesh. Um, do you plan on taking a class about heads? Do you plan to take a class about heads and face features? Do I plan to take a class or do I plan to do I plan to cover a class with head features and stuff? Um, because if if that is what you're asking, then yes. We actually covered that for day um Day day one to day six of the boot camp is actually all covering head and facial features. Well, technically day four we covered perspective, um, but we cover all the facial features and stuff like that on day day one to day six of my boot camp is primarily the uh, primarily the the head and stuff. And then we're gonna be slowly working our way to the rest of the body. So we'll be covering uh, we'll be covering the the torso. We'll be covering the um, what's it called? Or no, not the torso. We'll be covering the, the arms, the legs, and then some of the more extremities like the hands and the feet and stuff. Um, are those boot camps on YouTube? They will be on YouTube soon. Um, so check me out on YouTube guys and you guys will be able to, uh, grab those over on, on my YouTube channel. Thank you for, oh, Lamasiverse already got you guys covered. Um, but alrighty, let's go do another pose here. This is a, a doozy for sure. And I, I, I don't even know why I chose a hard perspective. Like, I don't know why I was like, you know what? Let's do, <laughs> let's do his arm facing back like this. We're crazy today. I really was out here and I was like, let's do, let's do one of the more complex, complex poses today. Eesh. All right, let's go do, let's go do another one. Uh, this one will just do a nice kind of maybe top down, maybe, oh, what are you guys feeling? Top down, right? Is what you guys wanted to see? Like just, uh, me drawing the torso. If you were to see kind of someone looking down at the, at a person, maybe let's go do that one real quick. All right. Let's see. Doo, 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 doo. All 
So let's go ahead and start off again with, the, with those basic shapes that we have, right? So we have here um, that structure there for the torso. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit here because I know that we're uh, we're kind of cutting it here on time. So I'm gonna do a little bit of perspective just to kind of work out there the forms. Uh, but right here, let's kind of uh, add in the volume of the neck. So maybe like that. And so let's start talking about here the overall structure of drawing the torso from this angle and again from the back side so from the from the top down uh back view and all that stuff so again one of the first things i'm always looking for right is going to be looking here and i want to establish where where the scapula is going to be so let's go ahead and find here the acromion process that's kind of where we want to lay that out uh, this is going to be valuable for figuring out also the the trap muscles here on this side so now we can kind of draw out our trap muscles there Boom, boom, boom. And then let's go in here, bring this diagonal down and add a little bit of a, of a, a curvature there for the angle that we're drawing it in. And let's kind of bring that back down here. Now, again, because of the perspective, we're going to be seeing some foreshortening here um, of the back, right? But let me go ahead now and add some of the, the seventh vertebrae, add a little bit of a curvature down here this way. And so we're going to be seeing that spinal curve of the pelvis or sorry, of this of the spine there uh, wrapping around there for the torso. Now, as we go in here, um, now we can kind of start adding in all the other components of the muscle. So we're going to talk about here the trap muscles, which we will kind of just arch over this way um, like so. And then we're going to be seeing some overlap overall overlap overall so first we're going to be seeing some uh some of the dimples there for the for the for the uh, trap muscles and those are going to overlap the the scapula there we're going to be seeing some of the fanning out here of the of the trapezius muscles and again remember that the trap muscles are going to kind of uh they're going to kind of go in here at a little bit of like a, a flow right we're going to wrap around we're going to wrap here the uh what's it called the lap muscles over here and remember that now that we're looking at it from a different angle notice how i'm kind of utilizing the curvature of stuff like the lats to wrap around the form as if we were looking down at it as opposed to maybe if we were looking up at it and the lats would instead be more straighter right or maybe if we were looking straight ahead at it so these lap muscles can also help us get a visual here of what is going on with the perspective so this is where you can start using the uh, the form of the human body to give you more uh, information, information about the perspective and the scene overall. Okay, there you go. Um, and then here, let's kind of bring it down a little bit more. Uh, bring those lats in here like so. Maybe add a little bit of the, the dimple there. And so now you can kind of start seeing all this is now going to just do, aside from all the things that we've already done, is we're just kind of wrapping in here all of these uh, forms. And I guess we have the arms as well. So let me draw some the, the shoulder and all that stuff. Right. Um, but what I did here too that I, I, I want to call out is I did skip a few of the steps of the preliminary steps. So if you guys are kind of wondering about all that stuff and like, hey, like I thought you were going to cover the simple shapes, I did kind of speed that up a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it's trapped as in tra trapezius. I was wondering the whole time why they're trapped. No, 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 yeah, yeah, tra the the <laughs> the trapezius muscles, yes, correct. Okay, um, and then let's go ahead and do the other side right here. So remember that the the deltoid muscles do insert into the lower portion there, uh, the lower portion there of the of the uh, the scapula, right? So keep that in mind there as we kind of go in. Uh, but other than that, I would say this is gonna be the kind of a more top down view not fully top down again because if it was fully top down you're not really gonna i don't know i mean i could do it but i think it's not as interesting to be honest uh and then don't forget the obliques here on the side okay 
and that's about it. Ta-da! Cool. Now you can draw your uh, Attack on Titan fan art and stuff. Okay, hopefully that uh, hopefully that answers your guys' questions. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Uh, why do you always copy your own drawings? What do you mean copy my own drawings? Eh? Um, I'm not sure what that means, but I do break down the references, if that's what you're referring to. I mostly show them for you guys out here. I'm not sure if I understand what that question is. But anyways, guys, welcome back in. Welcome in everyone's coming in here today. And um, let's see. Without With all that being said, I think it's a good time now for us to transition over here. And we're going to talk about something else. All right, last, last, uh, last couple of minutes of my streams. We got something in here that we're going to do. But yeah, hopefully this is helpful to you guys. Um, I think we covered a lot today with the back anatomy. Um, we did a lot of different references here today. So let me kind of merge this one in and shrink this one down for you guys. I just want to show you guys everything that we did today because we, we covered a lot today. Where's the, uh, where is this guy here? There you go. 